Loading it later? Well, I mean, we can just do this and try and stream it at the same time. I'm just recording this so that... Mm. So say hi, Max. What's up? <laughs> Wait, we should... Before we actually This is also this, a good test to see. Yeah, it, um, I was going to say we should just test see what it sounds that's like. That's also why I'm doing it. Talk and, um, let's just stop this and see how it works. That'd be cool. If we could stream from, like, my actual camera, that'd be cool. I wonder. Do you think there's a way? I mean, I know there's a way. Then let's do it. I'm gonna grab my camera. Let's do it! Fill in the dead let's, space, Let's man. do it! The trip to podcast, no dead space. Yeah. No dead space, so... Let me tell you about something I learned today. Life is dull. And it just keeps getting duller every day you wake up. And it's a matter of, you know, finding new shades in that dullness. New shades of color. I'm pretty fucking sad. Um, but other days I'm not, you know? I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm depressed and it fluctuates. Or maybe the word is dysthymic. Um, but enough about me. What about you? You know, what's your favorite color? Green. Green. Oh, man. The audience loves green, you know? Green is the color of a lot of good things, um, like trees and, and grass, but also some really bad things, too, like, um, like gangrene disease, uh, some decay. I don't think gangrene disease has to be <laughs> green. Money. Um, I, I don't know, man. Let's look it up. Gang. Green. Okay. Let's see. Uh, gang green. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's... <laughs> ooh, ooh. Yeah, I mean, your foot kind of turns green, but it's like a blackish green. That's kind of disgusting. Look at this shit. <laughs> Look at this. That's an awful picture. That, see, it's that's kind of green right around the edges. That's pretty gross. Um, Not gonna lie. Nothing worse would ever happen to you than that, probably. Um, well, what's a worse disease? <laughs> something like cancer that kills you? Or something like Alzheimer's that kind of prolongs you being alive? But I don't know if it prolongs you being alive, it just doesn't kill you. But you're essentially dead. You're yeah. mentally dead. At least cancer, I can go out with a bang. Alzheimer's, I'm not even going to know if I go out. You know what I'm saying? I won't even know who my fucking kids are. Not that we're going to have kids. Well, you kind of do know, because you know they'll be shitty, because their fucking dad has Alzheimer's. Yeah, they'll be like, wow, my fucking dumbass dad. You know, look at these nice colors on your roof. You really had a good party here, didn't you? That's what Alzheimer's is like, you know? All right, let's, let's not have this be in our show. podcast. <laughs> That's not to just leave it. No, that. just leave it. Just leave it. Dude. Well, yes. <laughs> but this is good, you know, because it's just keeping us talking. Uh, we're practicing. We're getting. Fuck. We're getting used gonna... to the microphone. I'm looking at all the different wires I have. I don't know how I'm gonna. Oh fuck, dude. Oh man. Oh fuck, dude. Oh fuck, damn it. Oh fuck, bro. God damn. Oh man. Oh, no, no, no. Where's my phone? Right here. Shit. You got that, bro. Once this girl on Tinder gonna text me back. We have a nice conversation, man. You know what it was? Oh shit, you know what I could do? Just plug it in my butt. This girl probably stopped talking to me because she said, you know, we've been talking for a couple, you know, a while, you know? But she was like, oh, so like, what are you into besides chemistry? I know that's a lame question. And I said, nothing. It's my only interest. But then I said, uh, skateboarding is a huge part of my life. I do some home brewing with my friends, and I'm trying to learn Japanese by Duolingo. That's what killed it, is the Japanese part, you know? I let on that I'm a weeaboo way too quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see if we could use a TV to adapt, like, because this goes out into AV. But if we go out into AV, into a TV, and then TV, HDMI out to my laptop... It'll go camera to laptop. This TV's broken, but it still might work as an adapter. If I had an HDMI out, which it might not. You know what else doesn't have HDMI out? People, because we're not robots. <laughs> but if we were robots, I think I'd like to have a robotic arm. Because things would be a lot easier if my arm... I'd just have like to have a robotic body. Imagine doing pipetting and your shoulder's never getting tired. That'd be sick. You can do it so quickly and accurately, too. Whew. You guys know what pipetting is? Probably not, because you're a bunch of dumb fucks. Probably business majors. Probably didn't even go to school. 
Yeah, I think porn's fake, according to this Twitter. I'm just looking at this video, and someone was like, well, I'm not looking at the porn video. I'm looking at screenshots, because someone tweeted, and they said, what the fuck? I think porn is fake, because... I'm going to describe the scene to you. This girl receives a text message saying, I want to fuck. Are you ready? The mantle, dude. And the girl says, let's do it. And then some guy tried that in real life and said, I want to fuck. Are you ready? To which Annette Nicole replied, bitch, what? So porn is probably fake. His name's... Can I say the mantle, dude? Let's say the mantle. So we may be streaming with the laptop camera for now. I think I need another wire in order is to this do the, this. Is this the background we want, though? That's um, really, probably that's, not, that's but I'm really, just... Hold on. I'm just testing it out mechanically at this point. I'm liking, I'm liking this vibe, you know? Like, look at the fireplace. You got kind of messy, but there's character to it. You know, we can see the coach in the background. Um, why don't we try to use the big TV as an HDMI input output? Because it doesn't have an HDMI output, and I don't... I guess I don't know why I expected a TV to have an output, though. Like... Um, what should we live stream on, dude? Can we live stream on like more than one thing at a time? The camera's independent from the microphones. We can set the camera way far back and then have the microphone. Yeah, but we definitely don't want a messy fucking table of like beef stew and beer. Are you sure? That might be our aesthetic, dude. <laughs> I'm not saying these would look nice, but like this also is not, I think, what we're trying to go for. Yeah. Where do you want to go? I don't know. All right, we're going to pause this. Her bath is so big. She could just take a giant cock. It's so big. <sighs> that is nice. It's so big. I can already see our audio levels are a little low. A little bit low? <clears throat> <laughs> okay, that spiked <laughs> a lot more. Um, so let's test out different things. Right now I'm saying something intimate. Right now I'm saying something passionately. And I'm like, yo, fuck you, Max! <laughs> what effects would we put on our voice? Let's we can put a phaser, a low pass filter. Or a high pass filter. I don't really know what either are for, but they make things filtered. <sighs> we need some good intro music. We should play the, yo, we should play the Max and James fucking song. <laughs> but is that our thing? Are we the famous <laughs> Max and James still? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'd be funny. It'd be a good throwback, you know. Um, all right. I mean, where should we stream? I don't know. I don't know. What do we call it? Because we're we're not doing Tinder view right now. No, we have no we have no name. We have no. Let's see where the cameras. <laughs> That's our frame right now. It's okay. Be a little should brighter be, in here. Should be closer. Are you good with that? I'm fine with that. I just think we need a little, maybe a little bit brighter. Say we can take off the uh, the panel for that light. Uh, I don't know if that will help. It's going down now. Trust me. It'll make the light less soft. <laughs> Might also be able to just put exposure settings up on this. Did it help? 
like not at all <laughs> barely changed we're not gonna have good lighting Yeah, but the can yeah. I think the webcam is just gonna be like pretty shitty. Regardless. Do you want it off or on? I just put it on, I don't think it matters. <laughs> Yo, you want something funny? What? I feel like it'd be better if we could just audio stream, because that's how, like... I'm sure we can. <laughs> Got that, dude? Do we want, okay, here's here's our options. Here's our options, as I see it. We could use Twitch to stream and then post that link to all of our social medias, or we could try and actually stream on our social medias. Well, we can't be signed in two Facebooks at once. That's true. We'd have to use our phones. Do, do we want to stream to Facebook? No. Well, I definitely don't want to stream to Facebook. No. I feel like it's not the same following as I have on like Twitter and Instagram. I just don't like. I don't know what we're gonna talk about. I don't want my dad. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. My I... mom to like come in and be like, "Yeah, like those titties were great." <laughs> not that I really want to talk about that on like the. But it might come up. Yeah, exactly. I mean, here's what we could probably do. You know what I mean? Start our stream on Twitch, get the link, po take a selfie of ourselves, you know, just like a quick selfie, because everybody likes selfies if, for some yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah. Post on our Instagrams, be like, yo, we're streaming, me and James stream right now, take a, come check us out. And Twitter. And do the same thing on Twitter, yeah. And just like see what happens. Let's just do that. Let's just do, see what happens. I'll sign up. Um, do you want to get a nice post ready? What's our username? James and, or oh, we're going Max and James, right? Whatever, I don't, whatever you want to call it. I don't really know what we don't really have enough. Password is what? James and Max. I don't know. Okay. The username is Max and James, and the password is James and Max, but no caps. Okay, our birthday is January 1st, 1920. What's our email? What, do you have an email that you don't use that much? Mm. I use we can, emails frequently. We can use my um James Longo dot YouTube at gmail dot com. Okay, I don't wanna watch how do I just start I just want to start streaming, dude. Do I have to have Twitch tr Prime to stream? Mm -mm. No, I don't need that. Well, we have an account now. Oh shit! Wait, yeah, I have this. I have this piece of stuff. Where I can do this. What um.
Follow the Snapchat filters. Um. Do you have a good picture of yourself to post? Um, I mean, honestly, some of the pictures that you've taken have probably been better than... Oh, I'll send you this one. I don't know if that's a good one or not. It's kind of blurry in the face. But it's, otherwise, I think it's like, hey, look, it's me, James. What the fuck is this? that one? Maybe... Well, maybe even this one, you know? Is there none of just me and you? Post some of the famous Max and James vines. Mm. Um. I don't want to capture the display. configuring Okay, so we can like um make like a background type thing. I feel like there's no real pictures of both of us. How are there no real pictures of both of us? Or nothing like... Do we not want to take one right now? Why is it fucking black on the edges? Look how tacky that looks. <laughs> Because the res resolution of the camera and the screen. <sighs> the resolution of the camera is not... Not like the resolution of like how much it is, but like the... The rate, like the... You know what I'm saying? The aspect ratio? Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't know how to stream in something. Right-click right, right that? Uh-huh.
Nice. <laughs> Touch your video only. You know, you know what I mean? And the other option is that we um just put info right there. Like what? We can put images, we can put text. Ooh. We can put anything we want in that empty space. Sasuke. <laughs> just some fucking um <laughs> Sasuke. What do we want to put in that space right there? We can draw something up and paint real quick. MJ logo. Ooh. Do we have access to that? Hit up Bridget. <laughs> oh, why does that come? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Why did we Google that so easily? Do we want to use that picture too? Ooh. Fuck. Add a girl Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> And then honestly, we could just use this. So if we like, um, like just. Just like that. Make it a little bit smaller. Yeah. And make that whole background behind. Oh uh, yeah, back. yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can just probably color all that. Yeah. And we just have this to the side. I'll probably have to. Some of it can be pretty, probably be pretty easy. Some of it will probably be. That'll still be fine. Yeah. Why don't you do the, instead of the select tool, do like the uh, lasso select, you know, where you select the shape. Because it's too late now. Can't go back. Something of a graphic artist, really. <laughs> Andrew should get out of the way. <laughs> Coming for his job at Mattel. Wow, you're really good at paint. We're really impressed by your skills <laughs> on paint. Yeah. Fuck, if only we could do like a nice fade into that MJ. We'll, we'll work on something. Yo, why are we not just live streaming this right now? I know. That's the real question. Okay. Image slideshow. <laughs> Do you save the image? Yeah. Hell yeah. It's on my desk. What's up? This is James and Max, and we're crushing beers. Oh. That could be it. We just get progressive and we're drunk, and it's called crushing beers. Welcome to Max Yo. and James crushing beers. <laughs> Yo, why does that look good? <laughs> <laughs> Filling up that empty space. <laughs> that looks pretty good. I feel like you need to be on the. No, we're fine. I'm gonna say switch sides, but. 
We can get, we can get close. Damn. <laughs> um. Okay. So now, how do we? How do we stream now? Start streaming. the fuck is this? Okay, settings. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell this person being serious or not, but if he is, it's the funniest thing ever. Somebody posted this meme, this quote unquote meme, on our meme page, on the, on the ESF meme page. What's up, guys? They posted this, right? It's like, whatever, okay. And someone said, try again. This isn't a forestry meme. This is just stupid. Which is true. It's supposed to be ESF or SU related. Look at this comment. Who made you the goddamn <laughs> police chief of a meme page? The purpose of this page is to make people laugh. Not to belittle people for having less than relevant He's serious. Memes. He's serious. It's not even called forestry memes for forestry teams. So to assert that it must be a forestry meme is already absurd. And calling it a meme stupid to degrade it? Show me a single goddamn meme ever that isn't stupid, and I'll show you a meme that isn't funny. If you don't like the meme, don't like it and move on with your life. The fact that you found a meme about a fucking cat so offensive, you needed to go <laughs> out of your way to make someone feel terrible for just trying to make some people laugh reveals a frighteningly malicious side of your character. And we can, um... <laughs> there is only one thing that should never enter this page, and that is senseless negativity. So to quote you, try again. Damn. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Cause then when we wanna share our screen, we can just we can switch to that. Can that go over a little bit? Like that? Yeah. A little more. And can the can we, can we like layer that this on top? You have it done? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, right. bitch. We're famous Max and James. <laughs> nice to talk to y'all. I'll... I'll...
I need to know about all of it. Oh. Can you hear me? Stop that next video thing. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're going to start our first podcast. You want to be a part of it? Right now? Yeah. I just can't figure out how to do it. Oh, wait. How do I start streaming? You like this up at all? You just uh, going for it? We're just going for it, dude. Can you be our tech guy, Dan? Do you know how to stream on Twitch? Didn't we do it one time? Remember we did it when we were playing The Sims. Yeah.
I can't figure it out, Max. We can stream on YouTube really easily. Really? Yeah. You can live stream on YouTube? Yeah, we should do that actually. Wait, I want to see this though. What? Why don't we just do it on YouTube? I just want to see the Twitch thing though. Just look at it. What do you want to see? I just want to look at it. <coughs> you have to get like a stream key and you have to do it through Twitch. I say we just do it through YouTube. What do you mean a stream key? Like, you have to connect the two apps, and I don't want to connect the two apps. With YouTube, we can just do it straight into YouTube. Really? Or we can use OBS if we want to. Um, we could use we could use my YouTube account. Or we can make a new one. What do you want to do? I don't care. Whatever the year. I said we just stream with this. See what happens. Do I have to use YouTube? This is stupid. Why do I have to use YouTube? Why does this face look like that? <laughs> it says I need to go on Twitch. My dashboard. There should be a stream key tab. Yeah, but it's different than from mine. Is that it? Maybe? Seems we have our stream key. <laughs> yeah, is this a fidget spinner? <laughs> okay, I think we're streaming. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see if we're streaming right now. I mean, it says we're streaming. So we're streaming something. Hey, bitches. Where's our audio input? Is that the mic? Is it, yeah. That's the shit? Yeah, so this is the shit now. So we don't what want that shit. What the fuck is that? We want this. Sh okay, now we're picking up with this and not the laptop mic. It says we're streaming. I don't know to where. I ain't seen another motherfucker like this before. Dan, it says we're streaming. We're gonna need you to look. You think that? Okay, so apparently we have two.
two views. Nice. Oh shit! <laughs> All right, so um, share. <laughs> Okay, so what happens if we just... Oh no, that's like, that's a, that's, that's not a... Copy to clipboard. So if we use this... <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, we stream. That boy. We stream. That we scream. We oh, who that man? Who that man? Okay. Um. I'm just gonna send it to the Peacock Club. <laughs> I like the thumbnail that it has for us. Yo, so we streaming. We streaming. Do you want to be able to see ourselves? We kind of booling also, you know what I'm saying? We're kind of booling while we stream. Thank you. Click that link and see if it works. Ooh. This is our first stream, everybody. Congratulations for tuning in. You're about to have your lives probably not changed. I don't know how to see how many viewers we have. Probably Dan can see it while he's watching. Yeah, I'm not really sure how this works. We could probably like <laughs> move this to the side. You know? you know how you can do that shit with like the windows? You can like have one thing on one side of the screen, one thing on the other. Oh, yeah, well... Um, oh, we have one person watching now. I wonder who it is. <laughs> it could be Dan, but it doesn't seem that Dan on his Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let me close out and then we'll see. Now do we have any viewers? Yeah, yeah, any viewers now. Um, let me check. Yes. I mean, Wait. it still says one, but I don't know how quickly Do, it... do you count? <laughs> do I count? might be, yeah, we might actually be counting because we had the link open. <laughs> um... How's you know, the... I watch myself. I believe, I believe. Is this like a private stream? Are we public? Are we out there for the world? Um, If people on Twitch happen to type in Max and James, they can find us, or if anybody has the link that I sent to the... I, I, I feel like there's probably like a, like a real-life stream section on Twitch where people just like... IRL streaming? Yeah. Yeah. But they're usually out in like the world. They're like walking around in the street streaming. Yeah. Or, uh, or they're a hot girl. Or they're just the. Beer. So it seems James had gone to get another beer. You know, it's in, it's incredible what beer can really do. It just it loosens the lips, and it really um it opens the floodgates of the heart. You know, not too much though. We're not trying to get too deep tonight, but we're just trying to have some fun. You know, get to know our viewers and have our viewers get to know us. And it's it's most likely that our viewers already know then? us. No. It's most likely that our viewers already know us. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not loading. We've never seen a motherfucker like this before. I think I think we know the viewers. If... Let me see if I can open up my phone. Mm. Do you want to try it too, Mike? Yeah, man. I was, like, I was, I was going to try and play some Mario Kart, but uh, I see someone took the other TV upstairs. Yeah. Now, this is a good stream. You were not a pro eyebrow community at that time. You hit 13 and... It's funny. She's funny. Yeah, I'm having trouble opening our own stream. Can you open it? That's not our stream. But this, this is our stream. <laughs> it's just not doing anything. Oh shit, hit play. Hit that boy. Is that us? I mean, I'm looking at my phone. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I have my phone out. Wait, so oh, like... oh, oh. Yeah, I'm having trouble opening our <laughs> Hey, what is up, my viewers? No, so it works. <laughs> it works on Max's phone. Fuck? It works on Max's phone. It's just not doing anything. <laughs> There's a lot of delay. Oh shit, hit play. <laughs> hit that boy. Is that us? I mean, I'm looking at my phone. <laughs> and and uh, I have my phone yeah, out. Wait, so oh, like, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm having trouble opening our uh, Hey, what is up, my viewers? No, so it works. It works, <laughs> it works on Max's phone. Fuck? It works on Max's phone. It's just not doing anything. All right. <laughs> Look at chat. David's in the chat. Is he in the chat? David in the chat. That my boy. Oh, wait. Yeah, can we open up the chat, actually? Wiggy Cat. Oh! Yo, first of all, you know, the only person here that sucks is Wiggy Cat. 
We don't need right. we don't need negative viewers like you trying to bring us down. Yeah. What we need is some good positive reinforcement, some love, How some we, TLC. Can we open up the chat in the studio? I don't think so. I keep trying. I keep wanting to copy that. I don't want to copy that. Can we? Can we pop out the? I'm about to tweet this shit. Oh God! Not yet. Not yet. We're not ready to. No. No. Okay. Here we go. Put the stream on the laptop. That's what we're doing. We are. The stream is on the laptop. Should I send it? <laughs> Our first vlog dash. I mean, it's just a podcast. It's not even a vlog. Our live streaming. Live streaming. David, can you message immediately as soon as you get this message so I can see what the delay is? <sighs> Dan, are you on yet? No, I'm not going to watch your shitty ass stream. Oh, you just said yes. Wow, that, oh, that, that was a while. It took a minute. I'm going to take a piss. Yeah, I've got the front row seat. Ain't seen a motherfucker like this before. You know piss on your bathroom floor? I like you put a sticker on my punch Isn't this nice with the with the the picture and the logo? We look really official, I think. I think we look like a real podcast. You're doing great. Thanks, Charlotte. Thanks, Charlotte. How many viewers do we have right now? Is it just you two? I can't see. Yo, we're live streaming, Nick. You want to come say hi to the live stream? Uh, Charlotte and David are currently viewing. <laughs> no, give me a group first. Okay. Oh, she said you're doing great, but it was only for Max. A streamer once a week. I chug beers, and everyone follows the same. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be... This is so cold. Why is this fridge so cold? I don't know. It's oh shit, feel it. Dude, grab a butt. Which refrigerator is it from? Yeah. Uh, that's pretty cold, yeah. That's we, a nice... have, we have quite the selection. <clears throat> How do I make this bigger? Um, we're here. We're really, we're really ready to have some fun, guys. You know, <laughs> Who's... Nick, we got Nick on the couch. Okay. Let's say what's up, Nick. What up? Who's watching? We Dan? got Dan behind the screen. Um, He's not there. We have... You can't see him. He's about to play Mario Kart. Make sure to turn the volume off, though. <laughs> Nah, if you guys want... oh, don't okay. reply to this within five seconds, you're gay. Time's up. Oh. Um, I think Charlotte and David are our two live viewers right now. Well, happy birthday, Charlotte. Um, That's my yeah, birthday. Happy yeah, birthday. happy birthday, like Charlotte. To, uh, happy birthday to one of our viewers right now. <laughs> so, you know. Birthday? Nick, can you see if you can tune in with your phone? We... I don't know if I fucking want to. Because I, I want to see if it works. Max is James is, about, is, 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 is Jared about to join our podcast? <laughs> Yo! Is Jared about to join our podcast? Right, so we got to get this going. We got to get this you going. You know, our even, first oh, two... Okay. Let's see, how many viewers do we have? Is this just two? Um, I don't know how to check. I'm, re on. I'm really excited for this. We're making some great progress. We got three viewers. We have three viewers. We have three viewers. Three viewers. This is a really monumental time in our life. So, you know, <laughs> this is our first podcast. And, you know, I'd like to bring in the theme of firsts. You know, Nick is going on his first date tonight with some girl. That's not... Not his first date ever. That's, that's not... That's not okay. Just go with it. You know, he's going to go on some date tonight, some Tinder woman. Just, oh, I don't know. Don't worry about Dude, it's okay. <laughs> no, yeah. you're, you're going on a date, that's fine. You're meeting, you're, meeting, you're meeting up with a woman, and that's what's I'm important. I'm working on the phone. Huh? All right, well, you know, James, how was your first date? Your first date ever. I want to know. My first ever date was... It's, it's a time for first. Oh, God. What was my first date? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went... I don't know, I probably saw a movie or something. I don't know why it isn't working on Android. Click the screen, because Max had to, like, click the screen and have it click play. I don't know. Remember, no dead space, James. No dead space. Um, Asked you a question. you got to keep talking. Like see, here we can see our viewers. Charlotte Bernhardt. How do I donate? Um, You can't actually live donate. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte, that's, bit, that's, that's not nice. We're, we're um... We're doing our best here for um, you. Um, David, can you actually check the donate option? Because I would love for that to be an option for our viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you're closer to the mic. Stop. Ah. The Fuck. ladies love me. Mama Kuji. We're not moving the couches. Is this your house, Max? It might be. Um, how's the audio? Are we are we even? Can you guys hear okay? 
There's a little bit of delay. So. Yeah, there's a bit of delay, so we have to wait for the answer. But that's all right, you know. We're still learning the intricacies of Twitch, of streaming. This is a good test, really, though. You know, it's mechanically working, so I'm impressed. Just getting ourselves out there to a global audience, even if this audience is still pretty much centralized <laughs> in Syracuse and maybe Gainesville, Florida. We should uh, um, we should play games, including Hot Wheels Sun Track Driver, Hot Wheels <laughs> 1999. I want to have um for all my viewers. Think you need to be a partner or something like Twitch to be able to. Oh, uh, I don't. I, 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 think, I think you can get donated to it at any point, but uh, you, people can't subscribe until you get to like a certain amount. I see. I Donations. See. No. Or I think viewers. viewers. I see. Uh, Interesting. <laughs> I'm not actually. Sure. That sounds like it doesn't make any sense, but. Hey, you know, Jared, if you're out there, because it says we have three viewers, you know, I hope it's I hope no, it's you. You can see our viewers right there, the viewer But list. what if they're not they don't really count? If they don't really count. I don't know. Um If you're out there, let us know. Tweet at me, you know. Down to two viewers. <laughs> Somebody joined and then left. That's what I like to hear. You know. Do we need the video of ourselves? I'm gonna put a, a nice a nice post on the Instagram to promote our to promote our agenda. People will be like, wow, that's a nice post. I'll be like, thanks, we're streaming. Um, ooh. So at one point tonight, we're going to have Dan chug a beer for all of our viewers. For every five viewers we get, Dan will chug one beer. Chug one beer. <laughs> so Dan, get ready. Warm up some beers because every five viewers, Dan's chugging a beer. Charlotte, how about you want to you wanna come over and do this podcast with us on your birthday? That'd be I told her we could have an interview portion because we needed somebody to interview. And it'd be nice. It'd be nice uh, if you're here, well, Charlotte. You well, know. What percentage yingling? Uh, you know, good. What does it say in the box? Good percent. The box is in the other room. It's probably like four and a half. Four and a half to five. Like... I'm gonna say four and a half. Um. This isn't, this isn't like a light it's under five, so <laughs> it's a logger. It's not gonna be very heavy. Um. Well, no, so really... I have some good. I have some good topics ready for tonight. I don't know if you do. Max. I've always got good topics. Who is this? Hey. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So knock over the mic. Oh man, you know. So people are coming home now. You know, it's it's that time of the night. We're in a, we're in a pretty crowded household. We have some, ooh, I have some people I've never met before. Just one person. Do you guys want to tune into our got, um, Twitch live we've got, stream? We've got Dan Decker behind the couch. We're actually Dan live. We've got fuck Max. I'm not, not doing shit. Mic. Jesus Christ. We've got, uh, we've got Ben Taylor. Andrew, nice to meet you. On? You're I the one with that you, picture Marissa. that we need of Ben, right? Marissa, Marissa. Oh, yeah. We got Marissa, oh, yeah. Andrew, you Ben. You send that. <laughs> it's a pretty poppin' house. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this Instagram oh. post. My roommate thinks I have whooping cough. Do, Is that the direction you want to go in your first video? You know, oh, if you want to cough on our camera, that's all right. I'll give it to Marissa. Me? I mean, I actually work at. I, I, I don't we have a lot of background noise in our Twitch stream right now. I'm not liking this. I'm not. I'm trying to retweet your um. I'm trying to find a picture of both of us on my phone. Dude, just Google famous Max and James. Oh, true. You gotta retweet and a like from Jared. <laughs> you know. Ooh, and you. It's the really good Instagram picture. Yeah, so what do you want to hear us talk about? What 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 do the viewers want? Yeah, what does the what audience do the viewers want? want? Well, then, where are you guys going to do like... Beer, dude. Boobs yeah, and beer. I, I do like... like a, do like a Tinder thing? Like, eh, that didn't well, work out yet. Yeah. We're still, are, you, we're, we're, are you just tra- chatting? Yeah, we, um, we oh, sent the link to the Peacock Club if you guys all want to join yeah. and give us more oh, viewers. Okay, Every I five know. viewers we get, Dan has to chug a beer, and we're at two viewers right now. So oh. you guys can make Dan chug a beer right now oh, very Max. easily. Max, we're, we're two guys who have fallen in love on Tinder. Huh? Right? We, we, we fall in love with Tinder. Uh, okay, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, that's some true. Wacky Yahoo I actually never okay, well, we have our, we have our first topic. We have our first topic. Boobs and beer. I say we go boobs versus beer. Ooh. Yeah. All right. I feel like it shouldn't that's be that tough, blurry. You know what I mean? Tough, why, is it, why is it res so it shouldn't low? Be, it shouldn't be. Very. Why is that res so low? Just go to the link. Okay. I feel like if it's good beer... You gotta go for the beer. Okay, at what, at what quality, like, uh, I feel like, I don't know, they're all kind of the same. Okay, I've, 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 I
not, not all boobs. So I think there's two ways we gotta look at this question, okay? Mm-hmm. At what quality are be- is beer better than boobs? Quantity. Or at what quantity is beer better okay. than boobs? So we'll because objectively, once. on average, I'm going to say boobs are better than beer. Yeah, okay, true. But remember, Okay, so we're in agreement for but, that. We need but that as a starting once point. you've had a large quantity of beer, any boob is also good. Okay, so we seem to have our um, snazzy blue. That sounds like Marley? I don't know who that is, but that's our third follower. <laughs> Woo! Um, so I'm going to say, on average... Wait, when did it say five viewers? We had five viewers? I don't believe Damn, you. we had five viewers. <laughs> Boob is greater than beer in any amount. I don't know. Yeah, this is definitely Marley. Yeah, Marley's- it's Marley. Yo, Marley. <laughs> wait, 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 how's that boy going? We how, got five how, viewers for a second, but they've done the three. Well, well, yeah, well, well, we gotta find out the ratio. Because, like... Is it one beer for one boob? Like, <laughs> What are you talking about? Well, no, okay. First, we established that, on average, boobs are better than beers. So, at what quantity... Okay, at what... Let's go quality first. At what quality beer does it take to overcome boobs? To where you take the beer option over the boob option, Max. You know... Come on, don't speak into your hand, dude. It's you know, <laughs> you know, I don't think it's that I'd, I'd ever choose beer over boobs. But the fact of the matter is that sometimes boobs can take away from a good beer, which, you know, might just be what you need. You might not need to give That's it true. To, you the might boobs be- can take away from a good beer, like but this. a good beer never takes away it from adds. boobs. It can it only add. It can it only add. It also <laughs> makes <laughs> less than desirable yeah. boobs better. It only makes less than desirable boobs better. Wait, like, like this? This is the best. Yeah, like boobs. That's not... See, that's some that's, bad boobs. No, that's, that's, like, that's, that's the great one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one that you... <laughs> what if you, what if you, you need what a studio. You guys know who that guy is? What if you just started, like, sucking no, on some... Boobs are, are gluten-free, uh, Charlotte. You know who else is gluten-free? Yeah, our viewer, our viewer Charlotte, is gluten-free. Six, six, All right. There is way too much noise. <laughs> Wait, yes, yes, yes. Polar's boobs do contain you. Um... Okay, our viewer WiggyCat three and four says, "Okay, so if someone were to say you get to look at boobs, but you don't have to drink a beer, you'd be like, okay, fine. But if somebody were like, you get a beer, but you don't get to see any boobs, that'd be disappointing. Sometimes because it, well, I if mean, it was like, like okay, it was like behind I don't, don't want to look at all boobs. Like there are some boobs, and I'm just like, that's not visually pleasing to the eye. And you know, there's also beers that are not gustatorily <laughs> pleasing to the tongue, but." I think I'd rather have, like, a bad beer, because it's, like, beer, than, like, look at a pair of boobs and be like, I'm really just, like, not excited by that. But there's, okay, there's so much circumstance, because... It's very circumstantial. When you think about... Am, pa- I, in, am I in love? That's a big thing. I wasn't even gonna go there, but we could start, we could start slower. You get bad beer, you you're think, still, you're still okay, getting, still getting twisted. I'm gonna feel good for a little bit, I'm gonna feel hungover, okay. If you're seeing bad boobs, if the circumstance is that a girl's showing you her boobs... She's probably going to do something else, too. Yeah. And even if they're bad boobs, it could be good other, you know, but, but other women, verbs. But remember, <laughs> women are more than just their boobs. Beer is just beer. Well, that, that's our debate topic later. Is beer just beer? <laughs> are women just boobs? Find out. Now, we won't cover that in the first podcast. That's for our, That'll be a subscriber special where we answer that. That, that should be another whole podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it seems I've got some likes on my first Instagram post promoting this. Um, including Marley, who is already on. I feel like our viewer list... As that- well as Sabi Kep and oh, Bridget <laughs> White being upset for the credit. Um, thanks, thanks for the picture, Bridget. <laughs> so the picture we're using on our podcast is actually provided by our good friend Bridget White. I remember, <laughs> me and James had done this one stint. Also our logo. Also our logo and was our logo, created by Bridget and White logo. in Photoshop. <laughs> you know... Uh, and Bridget, you know, she really helped us out trying to establish this brand called Famous Max and James a couple years ago. It never really worked out. Not because we aren't Damn, famous we have four material. viewers. Please get the beer ready. We're we not four viewers. fame. It's not that we're not fame material. It's that, uh, we just, you know, eventually we just didn't put our heart and soul into it. And that's what it's all about. It's putting your heart and soul into it. And that's what we're doing right now, Max. That's what we're doing right now. I'm pouring it out for everybody. <sighs> we're pouring out our feelings. So, um... So we're gonna take some audience questions. Well, we, we, you didn't even answer the first question, Max. Like, get, get your audience <laughs> questions ready, and we'll have them queued up. Exactly. Um, exactly. So, at what point do you have... You have two doors, you have two options. You see the boobs, you see the beer. <clears throat> what is the quality of beer that it takes? Say you have... You see a it's boobs. Not, it's, not, no, it's, it's, not, it's not the quality of beer that it takes. It's the lack of quality of boobs. 
That's okay. what it takes well, for a beer I, to let be me, good. Let me it elaborate. I'm, I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get metric on this. You see boobs, and you're like, objectively, that's a five out of ten. Those boobs. Okay. What number out of ten does it take beer to have you pass up the five out of ten boobs? Like I said, there's, there's more factors. Remember, we can't just reduce... We can't be so reductive to make women just their boobs or men just their boobs. I, I mean, really, I mean, if they're that large and they have and they have a cup size... Six viewers! Six Dad, viewers, dude! Drop the beer, beer in! Get the beer in! Pause it, dude! Okay, we have to stop every five... Seven viewers. Seven viewers. Wow. Th Thanks for tuning every in. Every five viewers, we would like to have Dan chug one beer. So I'd like to thank you, my seven viewers. If we could get three more... If you like, okay, let's get Dan on here. Okay. Dan. Dan's got a Dan, if you could just kind beer. of go in between us Dan's right now. Dan's got a chug of beer <laughs> on a Tuesday night. He Dan's has a big beer. house. Uh, yeah, my, my record for chugging a beer. beer is probably about, like, I think I think it's 26 <laughs> seconds. But it was, like, a light beer. <laughs> and, in a, in a, and in a glass. Well, let's see Let's see if you can't, you know, you just got to open your throat, you know. Okay, you're good. Yeah, you're in. How you're many in. viewers? Oh. We're famous, man. This is what it is. Apparently, this is what it is. It is called Famous Max and James. So. Back to five. <laughs> Awful. Okay, you know, well, damn, we're still at five. Do it. This is for the subscribers. Oh, no, not for this. No, fuck you. None of you have subscribed. This is for the viewers. Excuse me. My God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'd... Like, any any boob right now over over this over this yingling. Okay, well, promise... Okay, we made a promise. Five viewers, one beer. Yeah. If you want to see this again, get us up to ten viewers. Actually, no. Any any boobs we see, like I'll, I'll chug I'll chug a beer for any boobs Ooh, we see. Well, they, we, they can't. They can't. They can't show. They can't show. <laughs> Please post a link in the chat <laughs> yeah. to an Imgur link of your boobs. <laughs> we need. And, we, and we need Dan, a time card. We need a time card. And Dan will chug the no, beer. No, no, no. We need a business email. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, chug okay, the beer. Already. Chug the beer. <laughs> All right. All right. Dan has opened the beer. One, two, three, <laughs> four, fast. five, six, seven, eight. Is Nick <laughs> chugging a beer with Dan? Oh, he's just Sorry, drinking alongside. Shh. Dan's chugging a beer for our podcast. We're live streaming right now. It's our first podcast. It's our first podcast, Tegan and Isaac. Tegan and Every Isaac five viewers we house. get, Dan has to chug a beer, and we just hit seven viewers. So if you guys want to keep Dan chugging, everybody needs to get people to view. <laughs> so right now we're streaming from a oh, wow. eight. 15 Maryland, oh, Syracuse, oh, yeah. Dude, New York. We'll put it, we'll put it on the I tweeted the link and I sent it to the Peacock Memorial. So if you want to yeah. share those links to whoever in the world you want. We are okay. at 815 yeah. Maryland, Syracuse, New York, 13 to 10. <laughs> for any of our viewers who are so inclined to come have a drink with us. Team chat, yes or no? Yeah, send it. <laughs> so, you know, for all of our viewers that are keeping track, the people that live in this house, you know, not me. <laughs> Um, in, in, include Dan. Did Dan finish it? Dan. And a boy, Dan. Thank you. Round of applause for Dan. And round of applause for our viewers. Thank you for he he helping us hit seven viewers. A new personal best. <laughs> all know, right, Dan, get the fuck oh, yeah. out. We got, we got, we got a nice, a nice, a nice group of guys that live in this house. You know, we got, we got Ben Taylor, we got James Longo, Dan Decker, Nick Giordano, Isaac Prush, and Grizz. I don't know Grizz's last name. Am I missing somebody? Noble. 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 Grizz Noble. I really don't know his actual name either. His name's Andrew. Andrew, but we call him Grizz. Or someone called him Grizz. And I'm going to call him Grizz, too. No one calls him Grizz. <laughs> hmm? Okay, so, um... You have... Um... There's no personality... Okay, this is a universe where women are objects. Okay, they're actually... They're actually... Let me change it. Let me change this it. This is not the content we want <laughs> on the internet. Let me change it. This is change. not the content I'm rewinding, rewinding my okay? name. You have... AI sex women, okay? <laughs> They're not people. They're artificial intelligent robot sex women, okay? Their only function is to have sex with you, okay? Hey, they, they actually... <laughs> uh, Max! Open Holy the shit, photos. stop touching the carpet! No. You keep knocking over the microphone. Um, Max, are you nervous? <laughs> no. So, okay, is this okay. an audio thing or can they see you? You can see it too. Click the link. I want everybody to view. The more people that view... <laughs> okay, fine. I'll, I'll get on. Okay, send the link. Um, Wait, on Facebook or Instagram? Um, I sent it to Ben. Oh. So Ben should send it to you guys. Um, so you have these, you have these AI sex women, okay? You have these okay. AI sex women. Right. They're all a solid six and a half out of ten. All of them? Why? Okay. They, 
they, Why don't they just they, make a Okay, they rand they're they're randomly instantiated at a random value. Hey, Charlotte, you uh, should not say that. <laughs> um, okay, okay. The point is how many and you can ask me for more variables out of this, but what I'm getting at is you have women on the left, beers on the right. At what point is the scale equal? In terms of quantity. Well, if they're AI sex robots, I think the <laughs> where they're equal is when the price of the beer is equal to the price of the sex robot. Mm. Manufacturing cost or <laughs> because the women <laughs> no the, 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 the real the resale the resale the resale the wholesale cost or you know mm. like if I, is very little resale if you're using it. we have does that say 10? 10? 10? wait what Factory. tell me if we have. <gasps> Oh, oh, we got ten! Oh, ten! Oh, ten, oh, ten, oh, ten. Oh, ten. Another Thank you for those of us who just joined us. Every five viewers, we have our housemate Daniel Decker chug a beer. Um, whoever is our tenth viewer, thank you very much. Please let us know in the chat because we love you. Um, Dan's not the about the chug a beer in your honor. Please. Are you going for the? Uh, the <laughs> if you like what you're are seeing. You <laughs> 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 Yo, we got we got. Okay, Dan, please sit down. We got, um, we got our boy Zazzlebar out here with the good jokes. <laughs> Dan, sit down and do it. We need to not lose. No dead space. No dead right. space. So, um, thank you, 10 subscribers. Fuck, I keep saying subscribers. 10 viewers. Dan's now going to chug a beer in your honor. Yeah, Please, if you like what you're seeing, get us up to 15 viewers. Dan will do it every five viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you want to you wanna, you wanna get, get like a real timer out? Two, all right, all right. Ah, uh, you're good. You're good. You're good. Get, get okay, we're gonna, time. We're, gonna, we're gonna time. We're gonna time this one. It's gonna be accurate. This is gonna be uh, the beer chug official. Yeah, yeah we're gonna we're gonna see. My okay, head. we got a stopwatch. We're gonna go in three, two, one, go. Ooh. Look Ooh. at that extreme <laughs> speed. That form. Which reminds me, I'm gonna get myself a drink. Get yourself a drink, Max. <laughs> Fuck. Why'd you knock over this time? Knock <laughs> everything over. Go, Dan. Stop this is for the viewers. Back, this is our thank you to you guys. Okay. This is our thank you to you. Go Dan. Go Dan. I want to see everybody encouraging him in the chat, guys. Come on. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dan's done Come it. Come on, Dan. You can Dan do it. Dan has done it. Do it for the viewers. This, this stream brought to you by Youngling. Youngling. Yangling. Yangling. Youngling. You're youngling. Youngling. You're, young. you're a youngling, man. Yo, hey. but you know, Salzobar brings up a good point. What if the robots do learn to fuck too good? Are we gonna Are we gonna do away with women forever and, and eventually? To I mean, the, ideally, why else are we making the, to the demise of the male? Did the you do male it? The male half. The a little bit left. <laughs> How much is left? That didn't sound very good. Ooh, there's there's a good there's, there's a little bit left. There's a little bit left. Good sip. Come on. Good sip. Come kick on, it back, kick it back. we can get, get through and force this chug swallow, in the chat. <laughs> Wait, it's only the second one. <laughs> even even Wiggy Cat's telling me to chug, man. Come on. You've just crossed a minute. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, we believe in you, Dan. You got a little bit left. I can't. Um, Sam says he can't use the chat. Um, whoever is using the chat right now, can you tell? What are you trying to do, Max? Max, you're not allowed to touch the computer. You fucked it up. <sighs> I'm getting some Miller Alec out. <laughs> and you're getting some Miller. Right whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Oh, shit, doing? shit. Why are you? Oh, you just want to see the viewer count? Oof. I believe in you, Daniel. You got to not believe in you. He did it. He did it. It took him a little while, but that's okay. He's not a 10 seconder like James. He's, um, not, a, he's not a 30 seconder like me. Every, um. He's more of a minute and 10 seconds. We lost a subscriber and we got a subscriber back. All right. It's a subscriber. It's a viewer. It's a viewer. 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 But, you know, I don't know if there's a subscribe Actually, button. are you in frame right now? I don't know if there's a You're subscribe button. button. But if there is, you should click it. Because um, we're, we're going to try and do this at least every week. Maybe more than once. But, we, you know, we're going to bring you the content that you want. The content that you want. The content that you deserve. Okay, so we, brought, we, got a good, um, we got a good recommendation from the chat. What if the robots learn to fuck too good? We're live streaming. If you could, um, we're in the studio right now. Where's the camera? Right there. Let me get on it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got Andrew coming into frame. This is Grizz. Oh. Remember we were talking about Grizz? This is so Grizz. So we, we, we got a question from you. What if yeah. the AI sex robots learn to fuck too good? <laughs> what do you think about... Mm -hmm. that's, so, it, that's it. No context. At what point... No context. Well, I was going to say no context, but like, um, would you consider if the AI sex le robots learn to fuck good, <laughs> abandoning women entirely? And please speak clearly and towards the microphone as much as you can. So, <laughs> let me get this straight. It's it's totally um, 
indistinguishable between a real woman and I'm a I'm not wait, saying that. I've got a question. I've got I'm a question. saying it's... it's it, Man, what I'm telling you, it'd be pretty soon for me. Because <laughs> there's a lot of work associated with with maintaining a relationship from both ways. But, both but, ways. but, but, but if the AI sex robots have AI, could they eventually become women? Well, they wouldn't be truly Intelli- women. Intelligently, Inherently, they can't truly they be the women because they're just not. They have intelligence of people from having so many sexual encounters and other, maybe other encounters, you know. They're sex robots, though. They're not women. They're sex robots. <laughs> but, but they could... They, they just they have... Could, but I'm they, saying... I'm saying, could they develop the intelligence of a person? Well, are they okay? Let's say nice. Could you rape a sex robot? I'm saying, if they're getting, if they're getting good at becoming sex robots, maybe they're not even necessarily women. Because if you just look like a woman, you're only satisfying a certain category of people. If they're really getting good, they're shape shifting. That's part of you know what I mean. They can't just have one set aesthetic. Do they rip off their outer silicone shell? Whatever you want, dude. Whatever you want. And can everybody in the chat hear them well? I think we aren't really considering the real life scenario here. What? There's an opportunity okay. cost between boobs <laughs> and beard. Okay. People are saying we'll 15 viewers, topic. but we'll I only see. Topic. People are only saying oh, 15 God. viewers. I see nine. Yeah, I, saw, I only see nine. I see nine. nine, but we had two people say 15. <laughs> we had two. <laughs> viewers. Please explain the Coriolis effect. Well, oh, essentially. Oh, oh, okay, Grizz, what do you got? What do you got? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, explain so, this. The Coriolis effect is it's uh Can you please there's a little bit closer. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's an effect caused by the rotation of the earth which causes um, bodies of fluids to rotate differently based on which hemisphere you're in. Exactly. You know, exactly. If so. you're on different sides of a sphere, you have different angles of, of deflection of of certain vectors, 12 viewers, which is going to cause <laughs> the the, yeah, see, the uh, opposite rotations. That's a little bit more uh, technical. You, you have a little bit deeper understanding than I do. It's okay, you know. You, you you we brought we brought we, it together. Yeah. We synthesized the knowledge into a digestible form, and that's that's what podcasts are all about. It's synthesizing our knowledge into a digestible form for our viewers, for entertainment, for education, for really just bullshitting and partying all all the time. Um. <sighs> Exactly, just party and bullshit and party and bullshit in the in the words of the late Biggie. So um, yo. So t- would your Tom Petty? Okay. So we have a request from our from our. What's the question? From Tegan. Okay, okay, so Tegan would Peacock. You have sex with Tom Petty and under like what circumstances? Yeah, <laughs> only if he's yes, dead, so which he is died. dead. Yes. So Petty. would you have yeah. sex with Tom Petty currently? Tom Petty's dead. Okay. Current <laughs> Tom Petty. <laughs> Or some news station reported that Tom Petty was dead, but had to retract it because he actually was not dead yet. But then he did die. But then he did die. So, So like, how do you. This is just actual. So this is actual. Are we covering actual happened. issues on this podcast? Well, we just Max Hall and Decision what? Time. Are we covering actual things like actual people dying on our podcast? Well, Why not? Are we doing more like sex? It's Tom fucking Petty. We also have far too much background noise. CNN had to murder to maintain their credibility. What? Classic CNN. CNN. <sighs> Biomagnification. That's a, that's a great concept. Well, essentially, who are these people? Are these? Are you guys? No, so are Snazzy guys, Blue. So are you guys Snazzy Gen Blue, Bio ESF students? Snazzy Blue goes to uh, St. Lawrence. What? Snazzy Blue goes to St. Yes. Lawrence? Yes. St. Lawrence College. Yeah, My so sister just graduated, graduated from there this spring. So biomagnification, it's a pretty, it's a pretty easy process to, to, to get, you know? You have, you have some, some pollutant in this case. We're gonna, they're very specifically pollutants for what we're talking about. In the food chain, getting eaten by something small in the food chain. And because it's accumulating in the lowest part of the food chain, as predators higher up in the, uh, <laughs> in the, uh, the thing, food the, uh, chain. the, the food chain, levels. the trophic level, eats the things <laughs> below it, it's going to keep accumulating that waste inside of it because it doesn't get digested, it doesn't get excreted. And so as you, you get this, this bottom up uh, magnification of pollutants and, 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 and also max- energy. And and like, yeah. It's it's a different thing. But exactly. Energy and pollutants become denser. Nick, are you on it right now? Can you keep track of our viewer count? For, yeah, that's true. But you also okay. have like less energy. Uh, Wait, so if they, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's that's, that's Yeah, if we hit ten yeah, again, I, I, I say know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> no. It's lost at every level. Um, that's that's probably what what he what she's doing, Wiggy Cat. Um, I mean, uh, no shame in that, Wiggy Cat. What if what if? Uh, I don't think we need. Do we need she sees is, some is environmental Charlotte and Bernard, Bernard. 
as I think it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. So so, you know, obviously Snazzy Blue sees the the opportunity in seeing some upper division scientists mm-hmm. and and using our knowledge for her own. Um, but I don't really think we should talk about that anymore. What, if anything, would it take for you uh, to believe that an almighty God exists? Evidence. Wow, that's a heavy question. What, but what specifically? That's not, that's like a category. I would need something that could be unquantitatively and also unqualitatively, um, basically something that defies all of our, our, our abilities to measure to happen. Um, something that's, that's probably fits the definition of impossible. Um, and th- art? Art? Yeah. I mean, I think art, I is, art is, fits the definition I don't of know impossible. If that, I don't know if that fits the definition of impossible. How do you quantitate art? I don't think you do, but you can, you can, there's things that aren't quantifiable in art. Okay, hold on, let's, art, let's actually shift it to that. How do you quantify art? Because they have... I think that our appreciation of the, like, natural world of, like, of, like, created things could possibly come from a creator. I don't understand how like, I mean, like it could. of art could come from but it also like from like evolution. But I don't, you know, it's it's I understand how it could. I understand that it's a social, unlikely, like like evolution <laughs> thing where we're like, "Hey, look at this thing I made." And you're like, "Why do I care?" You're like, "Cuz I made it." And it's like, "Oh, that's cool." You know? I mean, I don't really get art all the time. I'm like, "Okay, like I don't really appreciate it. I, I think I more appreciate not so much like the art as much as I appreciate the effort that goes into making the art, which kind of is quantifiable. Um, it's not you no one measures it, um, but I I'm think I think that's ha- more impressive is the effort that goes into art than the product. I'm thinking it all has ties to evolution because it's like the whole like love thing where everybody's like, "Well, explain love." It's like explain it pretty easily it's all chemicals it's all endorphins and certain yeah, environmental stimuli like we like certain colors you can root a lot of that back evolutionarily so wait what is this Ooh. automod held this message allow it allow mm. what did somebody say oh no so we got a lot of swastikas in the chat right now <laughs> what we got um we got enough swastikas that twitch auto banned it but i allowed it i overrid the <laughs> Okay, so we can't, you're right. Believing in God is based off faith, meaning I don't have any tangible evidence, but I ref, I reject you in most cases, and, you know, this is, this is, actually, I, re, I guess I reject so they're, you, they're saying cases, you're the swastika, Max? They're saying, don't mind me just taking Max for a walk, and it's an emoji taking five swastikas for a walk. Um, I could tell you, but I don't want to divulge his identity online. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, I don't know. <laughs> Is he the one who's watching this? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, How many viewers are at right now? Did we hit 15? No. Oh, damn. Are we losing? We're at 11. Oh, shit. Um, it's just we're having a good time. And that's, that's, you don't have to bring that up. I just want to see. I just want, I'd like, I like knowing things, okay? You're getting distracted right now. You're getting, see, the I'm fame is already going to your head, agree. Max. Just, the, you can't, more, it's not about I the numbers. Know it's not about the numbers. Chug. You know what I mean? Danny's the chug. Nick, Nick, you will tell us if we hit 15, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Nick All is right. our tech guy now. <laughs> Regardless, He's our numbers guy. <laughs> I don't think that we need to have <laughs> God to explain why you can appreciate art. I think it, it, it could just be another social tool to, you know, it, it gives value to people. It's just I think it's more of a process product of social evolution than it is of actual evolution of, of biological evolution. Um, but there's a lot of things that I mean. Why is there a reason that we're doing this? We're live streaming. I mean, is this art? Yeah. Is this? Is there's this a whole only, social is this only part of our because brain. There's God that's that's making us do this, Ben. You know, is it God that's making us want to live stream ourselves? Uh, why, Maybe does, people does, want to watch you because they're amazed by like. By like what you are and like who you are. God, and I hope like, so. They're like amazed <laughs> with like what you are because that that amazement was put there by a creator who wanted us to like realize the beauty of this world and like um like have appreciation for like what he made. If you prefer your sex robots to be male but not your humans, does that make you gay? No. The only thing that makes you gay is being gay. Does that make you? Wait, I, my question stands. Yeah, I've sucked a lot of dicks. I'm not gay. No, that's not what I'm. I'm talking about the. I'm talking about um. 
He's talking about the sex robot specifically. Sex robot specifically. I have um, okay. an input on this. Okay, so the actual like sexual act of like same sex love, if we do it like that, like I wouldn't honestly consider that gay. Like, like gay would be an identity, but like. Oh yeah, I feel. Like but like the act, any sexual act doesn't need to, like that would be like saying the sexual act of like a penis, uh, someone with a penis and someone with a penis. Like if that's gay, then that would also be equating like just straight sex to being straight. And I don't that logic there doesn't make sense to me. I don't get that because their definitions. Well, for, of like well, what for they those are. for those who couldn't hear, Tegan said it's not gay unless the balls touch. So. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, just to sum that up. I think she's right. Like, you can I, yeah, I wouldn't say it's gay unless the ball touch gay. either. I mean, yeah, you can do something and not actually be gay, but that doesn't mean the act isn't gay. Because by definition, I that's mean, a gay or straight act. Not that there's I mean, anything wrong or right with that. Do act can... Can but, right. act be gay sex is no or is who it's with, with gay what it's with? Okay, no, yeah. Person sex only. So I don't sex think is sex still, can be gay. Sex is I still think. sex, but there's like that's like saying you know people are still people, but we're more than like I mean the, you can like go up like in classifying what people are like yeah we're mammals, but specifically we're people. It's like but yeah can there's. Can you do that with a social construct though? Yeah sure, why not? Like why can't you like def- keep defining things further and further? Like because all a definition is is to describe something more specifically. Do you think that, like, knowledge is unattainable, though? I think when you realize that... I think I'm trying to take this a different direction than everyone else. I mean, also, like, everything is a social construct. Like, <laughs> even, sci- yeah, exactly. even, sci- even science, even science can't determine facts. Facts are unattainable. Facts are... The viewers are, are derailing the podcast, Max. You can't let those... There's no way to truly know anything. I think girls are unattainable. What? Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go. Okay. This is going to be a lighthearted podcast, but this is the one thing I will go off on. The biggest conversation killer you can say is like, oh, we don't know anything. We can't define anything. We can't measure anything. It's like, cool. Dude, like, what does that do? <laughs> well, that's not the same as nihilism. Nihilism is like nothing. That matters. Nothing matters. No, nihilism is like nothing exists. No, I think it's that's more that's more absurdism where like you it's don't like know like you, everything you like it's just kind of like everything's uh, like divulging from entropy. Like, within nihilism. I went on the Wikipedia page. So, <laughs> so I know it's See, up. I'm just, I'm just, so I'm my, just saying like <laughs> everything that we have is a social construct, but that doesn't mean that it if, doesn't okay, exist. Okay. So because it, we still live in 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 the boundaries of what we create, or they might even be boundaries just as something is like calling a tree a tree is a social construct in in the English language, but it's still a tree because tree has meaning. It has a definition. We can all agree on what a tree is, and that gives it meaning. That makes it real. Just the fact that it's there is real, but we don't make them call it. But once we call it something, we have we know things about what it is. Just well, like, like saying, about like a banana tree. Yeah, that's exactly that's what not example but, I thought. Exactly, but it's more like it might not be like a tree, like truly, but we but we have a specific idea about what that is, and and by having like, a name for it, there's a definition associated with that, which which specifies what it is, whether that it's necessarily correct or like not correct in a technical sense. Like, okay, I I like get what you're saying. <laughs> But and so if you get it, like, I'm right. Uh, I think it's important to understand that everyone has a different, like, understanding of each word. Like, every every word furnishes, like, a different sense. Okay. Uh, mind. So when you say, well, like, there might be a different makes, interpretation, like, gay, but there's still like, a different absolute. It depends, it depends on everyone's. But, like, there's, like, absolute things as well versus, like, relative I, I'm experience. Try, I'm trying to get the, Okay, let's get the podcast back on track. Let's get the podcast back on track. We've had a few questions. Okay, I'm gonna go off the gay AI sex robot that 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 got the viewers off filter. Um, we got a few questions while we were gone. Um, <laughs> boobs or butts, Max? Okay, here's you actually my very where, where's my very my very well thought out answer to this. I appreciate um a nice pair of breasts better than a nice um. 
ass better? I've heard Max because, explain this. This is a very good. Everyone because listen. you can work for a nice ass, but you cannot work for nice breasts. So it's the rarity of having nice breasts versus the effort that goes into having a nice ass, which makes having which nice breasts more... Which contradicts your art more, thing, no, no, because no, you I know, appreciate the effort of the art. I, I, I do that, I do that, but because <laughs> there is no effortful way to have a nice pair of breasts, it's not so much the effort that goes into having a nice ass, but the rarity of having what would be like a nice size, nipple placement, shape, nipple color, you know, all these things that go into making an aesthetic... Versus having an ass, which is pretty wait, much wait, just wait. skin. So you, you take a look at the nipple. Like, Eat my like, shorts. You know those, those little swatches from Home Depot. You know? No, but it's all relative, right? It's all. It's, it's all. It's like it's like it's like. You look at the contrast. Eat my like, shorts. Four three nine says the, the, large yeah, nipples. Yeah, yeah, Max, why are you showing your nipples not to the cam right now? <laughs> all right. What the fuck so are you doing? I'm saying like compared <laughs> to my skin tone versus my nipple color, Get there might be there might be a more quote unquote ideal contrast or color between my skin tone and my nipples which might make it just make it even if it's conventionally attractive versus the attractive one person's mind but then again it goes back to measurements and, and making and, and making making measurements and having data about things um which which makes things quote unquote normal okay i'll, I'll hold on i'm gonna go on tangent the word normal what does normal mean perpendicular to an angle that? or that's correct <laughs> that is correct but if you think about a normal curve, it doesn't describe normal as being the right thing, but just the majority of what is most of the time, right? So if you're within a normal curve, most of Somebody in the live studio it, audience grab another most, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, please? Anybody? There's going to be a Thank range you. in the, the, the normal curve where things are more alike than they are different. And the very small amount of things that are going to be the most different are not quote-unquote normal. But that does not mean that they're wrong or don't exist. So by calling things normal isn't necessarily bad. It just means that in a, in a statistical sense that it's more likely that things well, are going to happen. And there's also a difference between I'm things that pee. are normal and things that we call normal. A lot of the time, things that we call normal aren't even the normal. Exactly. They're what society thinks that the normal should be. Exactly. So I'm going to get this podcast back on track. Can I get another beer? I'm trying to figure out how Thank to go over there. you. It's my lovely intern. <laughs> no, no, I'm keeping the beer. No. <laughs> Paid intern? Okay. Pay me. Um I'm gonna answer, I'm gonna field some responses from the chat. Thanks for the intellectual questions. Um beer boobs or butt. I'm gonna have to go butt and I don't know if I have as much logic behind it as Max. I just kinda like it, you know? Some I feel like there's a lot like I'm more satisfied with more butts than I am boobs. I feel like there's a there's a smaller echelon, which kind of like is good for Max. Yeah, Max likes the appreciation of the refined boob. Of the rarity. It's of the rarity. But I don't like the rarity. I want to be satisfied. I want to be satisfied each and every day. I don't want to wait for those perfect yeah. boobs. I want to get that nice yeah. butt just about every day, which I do. I which I do. It gets me up in the morning. Oh, for sure, you know. And the fact that I'm, I'm probably going to see, you know, I go to college. Sorry? I'm going to see, see a nice pair of butts. On any given day. We're getting out on the Snapchat right now. Yo, what's up? This is Yo, James. follow us. Max and James on Twitch. Follow, what's look up? up Max and James on Twitch. That might get you to our live stream. If not, hit up Tegan for the link. Are you live streaming or are you Snapchatting? I feel like squats... Okay. I feel like we should have another conversation because I don't think squats can truly, like, refine... Oh, how wrong you are. <laughs> oh, how wrong. There, there's whole Instagram fitness accounts dedicated to getting a nice ass. What about those like really like skinny people? Like, you how many skinny you know, spots do you have to do? Like, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, yeah, oh my fucking god! Some like, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> pair of butts. <laughs> would you rather have sex with an AI sex robot that looks exactly like a human woman that has been chopped in half, <laughs> but you can only have the top half or the bottom half? The bottom half. Bottom half. Next question. Ma Max, you come up with a question. I've been coming up with these fire interview questions right now. Bottom half oh, you don't. All right. So, are, are we all familiar? Are we all familiar with the term Chad? Um, and and you know, like for, 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 for our viewers who aren't. 
And our co-hosts who also... You're not the most basic are. of white people. You have, a, you, have a, you have a very misconstrued version of Chad, but you're on the right track. So when you call something, yo, that's Chad, it's not necessarily a good thing, but you're talking about a very alpha person who probably doesn't follow the rules. Alpha? Yeah, very alpha. It, it oh, doesn't, okay. It, it, he's, he's I don't know. It's very alpha. It's not necessarily a good thing, though. It's not yeah. alpha in the sense that you're a good person. Most this, chads are actually very shitty this, people. This dude skateboards. He smokes cigarettes at the same time. No, no, no. That's he's not a chad. Cool that's dude. not a chad. A chad would not would not be on a skateboard. <laughs> a chad might smoke football. cigarettes. He would be on the football team. He'd be fucking ripped. But, you know, when we talk about chad, we're talking about a very specific... It's that aura of, like, kind of, like... Why are you good at things? Like you're awful. You're an awful human being. Like why are you good at things? Um, I saw a good meme the other day where they compare where they compared the Virgin PhD to the Chad researcher, <laughs> and it was the Virgin PhD. Has, Which are you, Max? The Virgin PhD student has one publication but a four point six GPA. Whereas his lab coat is timid and quiet. Where the Chad researcher has six publications, a two point five GPA, wears fucking sandals in the lab, doesn't wear a lab coat, eats chemicals. So it's, see if all these people were just live viewers, if they were all viewing instead of just here, Dan would be chugging another beer. Dan would be chugging another beer. So, we could have a lit chat right now. So it's really about being one of like you know the more alpha, not necessarily good at what you do or safe or anything. So how about having eugenics to create a Chad race? I'm all for yeah. eugenics. A chat Everybody race. send the link. We need one more for Dan to chug another beer. Everybody send the link. We need, honestly, eugenics. I want my child to require only Mountain Dew to survive. Damn. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want that for my child because that sounds awful. But think about it. Code Red, maybe. Well, any type. Code Red is obviously the most optimal. You know, he would he, his diet would be what flavor of Mountain Dew does he choose? <laughs> That would be the... Ex- vegan. That would be, it's <laughs> vegan. It's vegan. It's good for the earth, you know? I don't know I don't know what's in Mountain Dew, but I'm assuming nothing that harms the environment. I'm assuming it's mined from meteorites or something like that. Mm. From some god it's juice. It's obviously found in Mountain Springs. Oh, <laughs> we, have, we have a dissenter. We have a dissenter. See, exactly. The Virgin Max versus the Chad James. That's a good point, Zazzlebar. Damn. That's a good point. Um, I mean, you can compare us, really, and you, you kind of see the difference. But I don't know how I feel about that, and I don't know how you should feel about that, Max. I'm just you know. I, okay. So, would you rather be the Virgin or the Chad? Well, see, I'm I'm not. I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. I and said, I, think you I are said, as well. would you rather be well, the I'd Virgin rather, or the Chad? I think I'd rather. You know, I don't want to, but I feel like my morals want me to be the Virgin, but my personality wants me to be the Chad. <laughs> I just want to be straight up Chad because think about it from the perspective. Like I, cause yeah, if you if you are the Chad, you don't give a fuck that you're bad. Exactly. Chad, but you're killing exactly. the game. Here's what I said. Here's what I said. Right? Donald Trump, fucking hate him, but he's a Chad. Why? He's just like somehow he finessed his way to being the president while being the most shitty person in the world. That's Chad. That's Chad. I guess it is Chad. I can't make it Chad. Chad is your friend who, um, like always wants to like tell you about his life because he's so cool and amazing name drops all the time and then, like never actually like wants to hear about your own like yeah some douchebag who has a podcast and <laughs> doesn't want yeah, to come to a party with him and then he ditches you yeah. i mean mm. like i do that to my friends i i ditch max all the time at parties you to, like bring alcohol and then like drinks all your alcohol his, like parents or some shit that you were drinking <laughs> nah chad wouldn't do that <laughs> chad wouldn't do that chad wouldn't chad would kill his parents chad would kill his parents <laughs> I feel like Chad has like a lot Chad of wouldn't kill his parents. Chad, Chad loves his mom. <laughs> Chad is afraid of his mom, even more afraid of his dad. Chad's mom. Chad's parents are both super overbearing. No, Charlotte's here. <laughs> Happy birthday, Charlotte. Happy birthday, Charlotte. <laughs> so Charlotte Bernhard, okay. who was in the chat previously, has now appeared at our house. I'm actually. I left him out in my house. Piece, piece, though, Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna pee, Max. If you don't have. Okay, we're gonna field some questions because by the time I pee, I'm gonna be back and then the chat will be caught up. I want some questions. I just want some questions, okay? I'm coming up with all the questions. Everybody get on the chat and ask some questions by the time I get back. If there aren't any questions, I swear to God, I'm gonna burn the whole place down. I'm gonna kill Max. I'm gonna kill our live studio audience. And um, I also wanna take a vote in the viewers whether we should count the live studio audience towards the viewer account for Dan's chugging. Give a quick, ye- give a quick yes or no in the chat, everybody, and let us know. 
I kind of think we should because there's still viewers. It, 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 I think it actually means more to the live student that the live. Uh, but not everyone came um, to no, right, the anonymous the ant eater. Hey. Um, I was. Yeah. I was. Um, I've renounced that part of my life. However, I value <laughs> what it was for me, and I. And I value my friends that are still edge and can still claim that. So no, I'm not straight edge. Um, but I, I respect that community, and I'm glad that I was I was a part of it for some point in my life. It's my curiosity got the better of me. What can I say? Um, I don't resent it. I'm just I just, people change, and that's that's I think that's okay. I don't I don't eat ass, but I'm not opposed to it. I just I just haven't had the chance to eat ass. I'll give you the chance. Dan will give me the chance to eat ass. I don't. Yo, thirty viewers. Max eats my ass. <laughs> <laughs> what color would I be? Um, if I were any color, I think I'd probably go with um. Max brown. I'd yeah, I'm brown already, so I'd stay brown. I'm I'm happy being brown. Um, I could probably get like a better advantage in America being white, but then also like I probably wouldn't get my diversity scholarships or like get like certain things like as easily like I'm applying for something and I'm playing up the fact that I'm Mexican on it and like wanting to um appeal to the diverse the minority students in like grade schools and being a role model for them so probably stay brown what color would you be if you were what's your favorite color person James caramel what is the best anime I'll tell you my favorite anime I can't say it's the best um and there's more of it's kind of sentimental value to it and I think it's probably Neon Genesis um, I know it's kind of like one of those, like, ooh, like, you look one of those intellectual anime nerds, like, whatever, but, like, it's just, you know, there's sentimental value to it, and it's a good anime. I like that it's short, I like that it's sweet, I like that it stays serious most of the times. Like, gotta say, you know, I, I, I love my 500 episode long shonens, but I don't ever want to watch another one. Boko no Pico, Yamada's first time. <laughs> Easy. Boko. Easy, yeah. What's the name of the anime? He got the H-Kai, actually. He got the H-Kai. Yeah, that's what it's called. Sorry, I'm not a fucking weave. Um, what's the name of the one where the girl's in grade school? <laughs> and so she has to have... Oh, no, no, no. The guy goes to a new school. And his sister goes to that school. But oh. every girl looks exactly the same. And he wants to fuck every girl in the school except for his sister. Except they're all identical and his sister also wants to fuck him. So they're all trying to, like, he's trying to nail, like, hundreds of them. But every single time, he has to be like, damn, is this my sister? What's that one called? I don't know. But Somebody in the chat go look that up and please give that to us. But there's this, there's this fucking etchy-ass anime called um, Kiss X Sis. And it's about this guy who has two stepsisters who keep trying to fuck him. Um, but he's like, you're my stepsisters. I'm not going to have sex with you. But it just gets, the sexual tension is just increasing so much. Oh, my God. You have the ability to teleport 10 tons of gel to any point in history. Your goal is to cause the most chaos and destruction. Where and when do you send all this jello? Oh, God. Wow. Um, Fuck. <laughs> Um, Who's Umbra Angel? That's that's like a. I feel like I'm back in like 20, 2005, like MySpace. <laughs> like, um, ten tons of Jello. You just send ten tons. Is this fifteen viewers? Damage. Most chaos and destruction. Max, just ask Nick for the fucking thing. Nick, how many viewers are there? Someone said fifteen. Sixteen! Sixteen! Dan! Dan! Um, for those of us just joining us, for those of us just joining us, welcome to the stream. We're gonna be answering zany questions all night. And every five viewers, we have our housemate, Daniel Decker, who's really bad at chugging beer. Chug a beer! So we just cross fifteen onto sixteen, so Dan drink, let's go! Alright. Everybody in the chat, and we also request that you all spam some um and some encouragement. So just keep, just go, go, go as much as you can. Okay, it'll it'll encourage him. Crack it open, Dan. <laughs> Dan are, are we gonna time Dan, this one? Oh, Dan, oh, Dan. We will answer the question as soon as oh, Dan is done Dan. chugging. We promise. Oh Dan. 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 Go 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 Dan, 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 go
Dan, go, Dan, go, Dan, go, Dan. Dude, you gotta do it for the stream. You gotta do it for the stream. Warm up the next one. Everybody, if you enjoy what you're seeing, we're at 17 right now. Please help us hit 20. We want to get Dan fucked up. It's a Tuesday. <laughs> it's a Tuesday night. Dan should be fucked up already. Um, Dan, you have the ability to teleport 10. <laughs> We're gonna, okay, whoever the fuck Umber Angel, Angel is, we're going to answer it as soon as Dan's done, okay? Dan, no, finish Honestly, the I kind of would want to drop it on the signing of the Magna Carta. I don't know why, but that just seems like a really, like, they, they wouldn't know what's happening, and I feel like it'd become a very, um, like, religious experience. Um, the most chaos... The chaos and is it destruction or or the crucifixion of Christ just dropping ten pounds of Jello? Think about how that would change the Bible. <laughs> just think about how dropping ten pounds of Jello on Christ being crucified. But that's that, changing did the you Bible. Finish it? Yes. Okay. Round of applause. Yay! Okay, get the fuck out of here. No, I think uh, <laughs> I think I think Moses when he did that snake thing instead of uh sending out snakes, ten tons of Jello. Okay. <laughs> On the scientists when they were on the most pivotal part of the Manhattan Project. <laughs> so that just detonates the fir world's first nuclear bomb within the border of America. Ooh. So the rest of the world knows what we were planning to do, and it fucking killed all of us. And somebody's like, how'd it happen? And some dude's like, I don't know, 10 tons of jello out of nowhere. But did they know what jello is at that point in the world? Okay. Probably not. When was jello invented? Oh. Anybody know? Can somebody in the chat please tell us what year Jello was invented and also what year the Manhattan Project was undergoing? Jello on the moon landing. Ooh, that would also give proof to there being the moon landing. But so that's, fucking conspirators. See, see, you guys are going too much chaos and not of destruction. With mine, there's optimal destruction because it detonates the world's first nuclear bomb. <laughs> well, what if we just drop like ten tons of Jello? On the World Trade Centers. 1845. Okay, so Jello was definitely invented before the nuclear bomb. <laughs> Imagine okay. dropping okay. 10 tons of jello <laughs> on the World Trade Centers okay, no, for right before those. the fucking plane crashes. Because then, like, but that's not, that'd be insane. We'd have a war on jello. But that's not, it wouldn't be a war on terrorism, it'd be a war against using cow bones. But that's and not, making that doesn't create so, any destruction. Uh, it does. Because then yeah, jello would like, crush the Trade Centers <laughs> and not the planes. Like, jello can't melt steel beams, <laughs> jello can crush steel beams. Okay, do we have any more? Um, can you fit a dick into your earlobes? Oh, uh, I'm not going to answer that question. Into your bones? Into his earlobes. Oh, yeah, definitely. Whoever's watching the stream in this? I can't can at please? one point, maybe. Not have the volume? I'm hearing myself oh, echo right now. Oh. Is that Andrew right now? You got to not have that stream on. In this <laughs> Dude, I can't. I can't. It, it trips me out hearing myself. Um, 9-11 was a jello job. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. From Nick! Woo! <laughs> but I could go for a jello job. I could go for a jello job. Okay. What mistakes do people constantly make in life over and over again? Not taking advice from people who have gone through the same thing. We remember we listened to that We listened podcast. to a very good podcast. Don't listen to that, though. Listen to this. But Yeah. So me and James were listening to this <laughs> one podcast. And like, essentially... Oh, wait. Who's watching this? Like, maybe two weeks after we both broke up with our girlfriends. <laughs> and it was, like, saying how... <laughs> um, how, you were, how we're really not good at predicting how we're going to feel after we make decisions. Which is great to hear after we had both just broken up with girlfriends. I mean, I still felt great. I don't know how James felt. Um, I'm not going to speak for him on that. Um, but... Um, don't get distracted by the chat, dude. Just keep answering the question. Yeah, yeah. So, like, it's like... If you make a decision, like, it's, it's, the, the podcast was basically saying, like, we should probably listen to people who have made that decision because how they feel is actually pretty representative of how we're going to feel. Even if we don't think we're going to feel that way, it's just ourselves being like, no, nah, that's not me, but it's all us. We're all fucking machines. We're all, we're all copies. We're all carbon copies. So where was the beginning of that? What was the question? Mistakes do people cause? So not asking not, for advice of people, or not, um, not not asking, but ignoring it because you think you know better when you, indeed you don't because you haven't had that experience. Um, biggest biggest mistakes people make over uh, and over again. Uh, not stepping on every bird they see. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 my biggest gripe with uh, the food and sex. Do they mix? That's a good question. Yes. Um. Well, okay. Well, then here's the question, Max. Have you ever mixed any food and sex? No, but I want to. 
What food and sex would you want to mix? Mm. I guess like the like you know the cliche would be like whipped cream, um, but or like or like. <laughs> yeah, huh? you ever done that, James? We'll get to that afterwards. Or or chocolate sauce, you know. Max that sounds that sounds very bad. cliche, but I I, I like that, you know. And that that just kind of turns me on. Maybe like I wouldn't want something too greasy, like pizza, like not cool, but like yeah, skittles, I mean, that might be kind of cool. A lollipop. Also, Pro tip, sugar should not go into a vagina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Tegan. Thanks, Tegan. <laughs> um, not speaking from experience. <laughs> not speaking from experience. Speaking from experience, whipped cream is not that much fun. No. Because you can't, you can't cleanly consume whipped cream off of somebody's body. It's not about being clean. It's about being as messy as possible. There's well, going to be hella food. I rates. don't know. Because like you're like, ha ha, there's whipped cream. And then you're like, damn... There's still a lot of whipped cream. I have some, and I, somebody's got to eat all that shit, you know? Nah, food waste. It's just... <laughs> what if somebody doesn't like whipped cream? What happens then? So then you probably, should, you probably shouldn't do that with that partner. I don't know. Well, I'm assuming you're prize. Yeah, what about with rip cream for sex? You're gonna well, know. Well, you just ate dinner. What <laughs> you just okay. dinner's dessert? Okay. Um, oh, so whipped cream, right I guess a little bit of whipped cream, probably good. A little bit. Too much whipped cream? Fucking god damn it, Max. I swear to god. Yo, this one time, this one time I watched this episode of, like, <laughs> Law and Order. It might have been, like, CSI or something like that. I had more juice. But story. essentially the people died because they were having sex and they poured olive juice all over their bodies to, like, lubricate themselves. Sounds super hot. And this guy was like, oh, fuck, your dad's home. So he climbed out the window and, like, fell, and he grabbed on the electrical wire and got, like, electrocuted. But olive oil all over the bodies sounds kind of cool. Maybe hot sesame oil for that tang. Olive oil is not a great lubricant because of osmosality. How did did our viewer count go over that? Was that exciting? (laughs) Did we just spike? I'm just saying... I'm just saying, it's a good personal lubricant. Co- coconut oil is good. And then, personal lubricant, that's fine, but like. And then, and then you get like a, like a weird, uh, you 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 associate the smell of coconut with having sex. Mm. Anytime you eat coconut, you're gonna get one raging hard on. So um, um, what's the most powerful lyric you've heard? Um, I think there's one lyric that I kind of like always go back to. Um. It's from the song uh, Chase I Hardly Knew Ya by the band Marietta. And uh, it's more like, it says something along the lines of like, we're different shades of blue. There's a whole like, like other part to that, but it just says we're we're different shades of blue. And I think that speaks to me a lot. What shade of blue are you? (laughs) Yeah, what shade of blue are you, Max? I don't know. Also, didn't you say you wanted to be brown anyway? (laughs) It's a metaphor! When it speaks to you, what does it say? Um, That we're just, you know... (laughs) Even as similar as we are, we're not the same people. When this speaks to me is in the third pay. In the third grade, my mom thought that I was gay. Only the third grade. Yo, man, my boy, song? my boy Cedric on the chat. Easily, Cedric um, on the chat. Animals, animals. Gets me a hard on. I remember I listened to animals like probably before I started masturbating and then it like the talk about like sex and stuff in it and I was like, damn, this is hot and I probably popped a boner. Animals? So, the song Animals by Nickelback. It's on um the album what's the album where they're like driving what's it it's a road, there's yeah. a road they're driving I know, a car down I know the road. About. Nothing but animals 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 <laughs> Um Honest to God photograph them. Look at this graph! <laughs> What's the picture behind you? That's our assistant cross country coach. He always kind of gives a thumbs up, so we decided to print out a very large picture of him. Who is Shunty Q? I'm really intrigued. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter who they are. I'm right? intrigued by all the Mom spaghetti. Yeah, um, knees weak. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, um, I feel like we had a question earlier that we didn't ask. Whoa. Andrew says you're gay. Um, the Asian in the room says you suck. <laughs> Wow. Never forget okay. oh the jello. Put a towel on your yes, head. That's me. 
why they have Sam Hunt. It's a good Bomb song, the right? Haram. Who is our shark? I don't know. Max, why are you typing into the chat instead of just talking? Because it's fast. So is, it fa is it faster than talking? Me. God damn it, Max. <laughs> Yeah, so I think I send it to my old room. James Longo, very cute, says Russian squeeze bag. Thank you, Russian squeeze bag. Um, <laughs> best naked moment? Best naked moment. Probably with James. What's your favorite naked moment with me, Max? How many times have we been truly... Well, one time um, you were naked on a couch and I painted you on an easel. That's what I was thinking about. Um, there's a photo shoot of it. What's something someone told you that changed how you live your life? Um, hey, there's porn on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I will tell you the story of, I remember I was laying in my bed, and I, God, what, I was probably in like seventh grade, That's, so kind of a late bloomer, and I was thinking to myself like, Damn, I know what boobs look like, but I have no idea what a vagina looks like. I remember just thinking, like, I know it's not a penis, and I know it's relatively flat, but, like, I don't know what it looks like. And then I was like, you know what, I'm not going to figure it out by laying in bed. And I was sitting there, and then I was thinking about how, like, we had just gotten a computer at my house, and my dad's like, yeah, man, like, you can look up anything on the internet. It's such a powerful tool. And then I remember I thought that, and then I thought back to the other thing, and I sat up. And that's when porn occurred to me. And this is like 10 p.m. And I went downstairs and I looked up porn and I watched porn. And I was like, damn, this is where people are finding the naked girls. Because certainly not every, because I'm like, everybody knows what naked girls looks like. But there's no way everybody's just like, has seen a naked girl. That was kind of my logic at the time. Yeah. And so the internet then occurred, then showed me the way. Why is everybody saying say it? What is something? That just say it, dude. Why is everybody saying say it? What What do you guys want us to say? Say <laughs> Guys, there's like me a lot of people in the chat saying say it. I don't know say what. It. What do we want to say? It. <laughs> Vampire. Vampire? <laughs> um, I'll tell you a story about porn in my Yeah, my when, did, when did you first watch porn and how did it occur to you? Well, this is actually going to be an interesting story. I, I told you, me and James talked about this last week. Um. Everybody's saying say it. Just ignore it. Just ignore no, it. Dude, just you say it. Oh, our happiest moments. Um, guys, I still want to know your happiest moments. I've never been happy, Marley. Um, <laughs> so this is a good story about when I was young, how I developed my foot fetish. Um, and it's because actually I was too scared to look up porn, because I was like, fuck, if I look up porn, like my parents are gonna find out, like this is gonna be awful. So instead of going on porn websites, I used uh, the good old YouTube. And YouTube has lots of videos of women kissing each other. And That's how I started. Exactly. Wait, and if you watch those, it often links to girls. It often links yeah. to... It's the gateway. It's the gateway. It often links, you know, on YouTube to women that making out, you know, it's just some lesbian making out. Because you're like, yeah, that's hot. You're 10. It's cool. To, to foot worship. It's hot in 21. <laughs> to, when, you, when you're... Foot worship. You know what I mean? Yeah, it still is. You're right. But at least, like, those foot worship videos on YouTube. And I was like, fuck, man, I guess this is what people do. So I'd start watching, like, the foot worship videos on um, on YouTube. And, like, ever since then, like, I've just kind of had a thing for feet. Like, not not super bad. Like, not, like, crazy. I'm not like, oh, my God, I love feet. But, like, But looking back, you nice. have commented like, on my feet a lot. And what do you think of my feet? Yo, James has SpongeBob feet, man. They're fucking, <laughs> they look like fucking, they're like rectangles. They're like Minecraft But is that good? Is no, that... they're not. You oh, do not have good damn. feet. Damn, from a guy from a foot fetish. Damn, that means I actually don't have nice feet. And you don't. From a really, you don't. From somebody who's really appreciative. Fuck. I still love you. Fuck, what was the question? I forgot the What's original What's our happiest question. moments? Happiest moment together, though, I think it was. What's our right? happiest moment? Was it happiest moment together or happiest moment in general? What is everybody saying? Say it. What do you want us to say? He wants. To okay, say now people are a just racial slur, which we're not gonna say. Oh, um, they want us to say the N word on a live stream. I mean, it got PewDiePie a lot of publicity. <laughs> no, PewDiePie in that bitch. No, we're not. She runs Wait, why is every everybody wants us to say the N word? What is going? Is this a thing that you do on? I don't know. I don't use Twitch. Yeah, no. I don't. Is this a? Let's not make it a thing. I don't. Is that? A... Well, I think it's a thing. Like, if it's a thing, I would do it. I think we should say it. The, the uh, chat is getting flooded with a um with requests from the fans. With requests from the, um, so is it I, is it? Are you sure you're interpreting? 
Okay, Thir- 35 viewers, they say it. Thir- no, 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 no. No, because no, at 30 viewers, Max is eating my ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, James has gross... F- thank... Who are you? Who are these people saying? Okay, anyway, let's go back. Happiest moment together. What's our happiest moment together? And I hope it's the same moment, so let's brainstorm. That's cheating. <sighs> I well... Have- I remember this, you know, it's the, there's that one snaps that I've saved of us where we're in Oswego. Okay. So I was dating this girl oh, at wow. the time. Okay. And I was like, well, I wasn't dating her at the time yet. At the time, I wasn't. But me and James went, up to, this, went up to this party at her house in Oswego. Um, and, you know, we both stayed the night. But the next day, James and I were, like, walking around. Who is R Shark 12? I don't know. And, and you know, we left this girl's house, but we were still... Um, in the city and there was like this farmer's market going on and I just remember like there's people dancing and there was music and we were sitting down eating like a pulled pork sandwich together and wouldn't it be nice um was was playing and I remember looking at James in the eye and I was filming him and he like winked and it was just it was beautiful maybe not the happiest moment but a very fond moment that was a very fond moment I love it that's prior to you getting your first um professional tattoo second what was the first because I had the scythe scythe. oh you did get the scythe never mind um, how deep does my love for sheeps go? Well, they're the best dogs because there was a most one of the most impure. Do- um, they're one of the most pure dogs. <gasps> Who is Archer Twelve? Please. <laughs> okay, wait, go on. But sheeps, sheeps are one of the most. Sheeps are one of the most pure dog breeds in the sense that they're they're pretty ancient. Um, they, they retain a lot of their hunting and, and wolf-like characteristics, and they're also just super cute. Everyone likes to think they're dumb, but, like, they're not dumb. They're super smart. I think that all do- I think all small dogs are stupid. I think all small dogs would taste good if eaten and should be fed to larger dogs. Um, you died and meet God. He tells you he will answer one question, what do you ask? Well, my question, I guess, would be if God exists, but if I'm meeting God, I don't really have so a you, question. You, are you, oh my God. So you die, you go to heaven, God looks at you, he says you can, he can answer one qu- No, don't fucking deny it. I'm not, I'm not allowing that, that slander. So Max will die, go to heaven, God lets him as, answer one question, and you ask, does God exist? Well, no, no, that's what my question, like, that's what I would think I'd want to ask, but at that point, I already have that, I already have that knowledge that God probably exists, or that God exists, if I'm talking to God. How many boobs have I seen in my life? <laughs> <laughs> can, I have a stat, can I have a stat count? Um, I just don't is it, know. Like, can I have a two-part question? Like, like, per person? Or? I mean, there's the individuals. Who's saying James no? Uh, probably Marley. Who are these? <laughs> we have so many people just dropping the end bomb in our chat. What is going on? I don't want this. I'm. I'm. I'm that one. That one's not them. funny. We will only allow funny. We're getting an allowed yeah, deny. Funny. We're getting a loud deny prompt when people post offensive stuff, and it has to be objectively funny. Um, would you rather suck God or suck Satan? I'd rather suck Satan. Suck Satan. Hell yeah, suck Satan. Are you fucking? It'd be way more kinky. Um, he would know what he's doing. Exactly. He would know what he's doing. Um, what would you ask God? But then, what would you ask no, God? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me let Yo, me reconsider, Satan let me reconsider this because it's like a it's like an angel on the street, Satan in the sheets type thing. God, maybe he's been holding out, dude. Maybe he's like a good boy, but like when he goes back to your little like corner of heaven, he he gets a little freaky. You know what I mean? That's what every guy wants, right? He, to, to tell me, God didn't give himself the biggest dick. <laughs> God definitely gave himself the biggest dick. Who is okay? Do we have to? Are you gonna ban this man? Are we gonna are we gonna throw the ban hammer? No, no, no. He's a viewer, dude. He's a viewer. He deserves his um. Actually, I don't. I don't know. Maybe we should throw the band hammer. Who is this person? The ignore hammer. Um, we're gonna go for spam. Okay, we're. Wait, who is? How do we? Can we get a um? How many beers do we have? Can we? Ooh, we're very sorry. Did it work? Yes, we're very sorry. We had the ban. We had the ban. Um, we had the ban of viewer. What? What's our viewer count? Is anybody checking? Can we get a viewer count update on um? Oh, at twenty, Dan will chug another beer. 
At 30, Dan will chug Mac. Oh, no, not chug, chug Mac. No. Dan's going Dan's gonna, Dan's gonna to blow me on camera. <laughs> at, 30, at 30, Max will eat Dan's ass. Uh. <laughs> I shower. Okay, nice. good debate question. Let's try not to get through. Wait, 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 Umbra. What question? Are, who? Which other guy? I, are you talking about someone in the chat or us? What are, what are you talking about? Just say it. Can you be more specific? I'm James. This is Max. For all those who don't know, can you say who you want to answer the question? What the question is? We're at fourteen. So we're, we're, we've we've dip, we've dip. This is good. This is good. People are tuning in. Okay, I have something, and I want you to. Do your best to ignore the chat for a little bit, Max, because I want you to answer this objectively because we know the answer. What objectively makes something funny? Think about you have a statement that's funny versus a statement you don't have funny. What is the lowest common denominator? I'll answer the question later. Um, I think it has to be clever. But what is clever? Like what is a what there is has a to be like joke? some wit behind it. So I'll put this in. A, I'll is put a, this an example. A fart joke is funny. That's not clever. No, I mean you know, but that's also but they're, they're, you know things can be funny for different reasons. But I think one of like a good defining factor of you know what's typically funny, at least in my eyes, is like one thing I hate. Max, stop getting distracted. You is, fucking idiot. I'm thinking. Fuck you. You're looking at the chat. Is <laughs> Like God against humanity, uh, cards against humanity. One of the reasons I hate playing Whoa. it. <laughs> God, yeah, I don't know if they're. You know, I think they're both true. One of the reasons I hate cards against humanity is because people aren't clever. They look at the cards and like, ha ha ha, that's a funny card, but it's not clever within the context of the other card. Yeah, you're right. They shouldn't just choose like if somebody does bees question mark, it always wins. It's not funny though. Of the prompt card. But it's not funny. But I think it's funny when people like put a narrative behind each of the answers and then come up with a funny narrative from the, like a funny answer from that because it shows they put thought into but it so, and it's clever. So so but why what makes it funny? What makes it so if I say um maybe things that aren't like typically like typically obvious and then they become like they they're revealing where there's a social commentary. So like give I me an example of a joke. Give me a Oh my god. Okay. Um I need a co-host cuz I'm asking Dan, get over here. Oh my god. Max did it. There's one thing you guys don't have to touch. What objectively makes something funny as opposed to not funny? I mean, I, I remember reading about this before and it was like, you, your brain your brain will go through so many different, uh, like, like, like there'll be a scenario and your brain will go through so many different, uh, like, options for it. And then one that it doesn't expect, like that, it, I don't know, that that's what'll make it funny. Like if if it lands on the one that, but so like, that I feel like it doesn't work because like what number am I thinking of? I'm thinking of a number between two and five. Three, seven. Ah oh, damn! Yeah, you got so it. I guess that was funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean like I think I think objectively funny. Uh, kids getting hurt. Yo, that's funny as fuck. Okay, but that so that's a good segue into, the because I've thought about this. I think that it's because your brain is a predicting machine. You're constantly predicting what's going to happen next. So you're taking input and you're trying to predict the output of what's going to happen. I think it's that when you think that something bad is going to happen, but it doesn't. When you fear something and you're very like accounting for like what the fears are, and then something happens that you didn't account for, but is not one of the fears, then you have humor. Yeah. So it's something that you didn't predict but does not also coincide with something that you don't want to happen. It's something that's fine. Yeah. So like somebody skateboarding, they start to fall. You didn't think that was going to happen. They get hurt, but, <laughs> but <laughs> they're idiot. fine. But they're fine. Nah, even if they're not fine. That person dies. <laughs> Still funny. But it's fine because you think, okay, the person dies. That should be something bad. But then you evaluate further and you're like, but this isn't bad to me. So now it's funny. Yeah. If something's truly bad to you, it isn't funny. It's something that has the potential to be bad to you, but is not. So Dan, something that had the potential to be bad was if Dan guessed the wrong number. But since I chose something that wasn't even something that he could have guessed, it was something that potentially could have been bad, but wasn't because he had no shot at guessing seven because it yeah. wasn't two through five. Just like you had the potential to feel bad if that person died, but he didn't. So now you think that that's funny. True. So that's how I see it. Yeah, people dying yeah. is funny sometimes. Guys should get, should get okay. a ticket over there. Alright, what would you ask God? 
James, if you die, what's if the If I first? died and I had one question to ask God, you know what I would ask? I'd be like, God, I've lived for 21 years. Because <laughs> this is assuming I die, like, right now, during this which podcast. I wish. Which I fucking <laughs> wish I do. And I've done a lot of things. I've asked a lot of questions. I've got a lot of answers. But there's one thing, one thing that came up. One thing that came up that I didn't have the answer to. Who is Umbra Angel Eleven? <laughs> <laughs> I just need to know, God. I need to know. <laughs> so I'll wait for the delay and for the answer to that question, because I don't think I need God to answer this question. Uh, I I would ask him uh, why he discontinued Wonder Balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, 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 free my boy Wonder Ball, like. <laughs> He was doing good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell this girl on Tinder to tune into our podcast. <laughs> Everybody, if you have a Tinder, please, please, I'm um, Tinder out this yeah, link. Someone toss me my phone. I'm uh, text, I texting a few girls right now. <laughs> it might be under Ben. It's huge and heavy. Um, let's keep the questions going from the um. It might be on the ground. Chat. Would you rather have, and this is for both of you, penis-sized nipples or nipple-sized penises? Penis. Um, who would you consider Singular. the biggest asshole in history? Answer my question first. What? You know, penis-sized nipples or nipple-sized penis? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nipple-sized penis. I don't get any play anyways. <laughs> All right. Simple question. Simple explanation, Dan. Uh, I think I think penis-sized nipples because then then you have three. Then you have three tools to work with. <laughs> then, I still, not... then I still have really no, small nipples. This is, this is yeah, yeah. These, aren't, these aren't fiction. These aren't functioning. It doesn't turn your nipples into penises. They're just the size of, yeah, yeah. of the your... The size of penises. I have three tools to work with. All very but small. But they're still the shape All of the nipple. All very small. Yeah. Yeah, you should... <laughs> Sorry. You so, you're, so you're telling me... <laughs> Squeeze in. Okay, okay. You, you, I guess put, I you put a rubber band right here. I don't know. I mean, like, I, I, I feel like there's, there's someone who's into it. You yeah, I'm know? sure. I'm sure nipple play feels really good. I mean, like, I like getting my nipples like sucked. You know, that's what I'm saying. All right, uh, I'm gonna pee real quick. Okay, go. On. Yo, Cedric's right. I'll answer that question with another question. <laughs> Who would you consider the biggest asshole in history? Max Sosa. I mean, yeah, me. <laughs> Max Sosa. Um. Uh, yo, how many beers? What? <laughs> wow. Like two and a half. That was. Are you asking how many beers I've drank? No, how many viewers? Viewers. Oh, viewers. Oh. I thought you'd be in that dude right now. How many viewers do we have? I, it's hard for me to check because it's so sorry, delayed. Sorry, Never mind. We're on 13, so we're trying to get up to 20 to get Dan to drink another beer. If everybody in this room were viewing right now... We are viewing right now. But if you were on your computers, you're not important enough to qualify as a candidate. Ooh, Who's that? I'm not important. <laughs> oh, you I'm are. Not. You are. Who's the biggest asshole in history? In terms of like, okay, there's a lot of people. In so history you could go assholes. like Stalin, but that's not really like an <laughs> asshole. Like the biggest asshole in history would probably be like, um, like I think asshole has to in you know, history probably Genghis Khan. Like there, yeah, there's, there's a lot of malicious intent. The like, court, like, like the carrot system, like you know the, the diamond carrot system was started for women. He would kill all the men, and then he would take all the women, and he'd be like, all right, you can get up to 14 carrots, and each one of the carrots had, like, different categories for the women, and all the women, he'd line them up, and all the women above a certain carrot size, he'd just rape the shit out of them. So if that's not the biggest asshole in history, because that's not just, like, okay, a lot of people have raped women. He, like, did it systematically, and, like, like 15% of the world population is related to him as a result of that. So he really went at it. 15%? What? 15%? It's a lot. I heard, it, I heard it was one out of every 300 Chinese people. Well, okay. So could, like, somebody in the chat, could somebody in the chat please message back what percentage of the world population is related to Genghis Khan, please? First one back gets nothing. Props. <laughs> you get nothing! Good day, sir! Jared from Subway. I don't yeah. know. Like, Biggest <laughs> asshole in history, like... I feel like asshole history has to do with the context as well. Like, we think people were assholes, like, back in the time. But back in the day, they probably weren't an asshole. You know Actually, I mean? no, no, no. I got it. I got it. Biggest asshole in history. I was I was probably eight or nine years old. <laughs> I was in McDonald's. I was playing on the play place. I was going around. And this kid 
this this kid <laughs> this kid comes up, and you know I'm I'm out playing. You know I go I go run on the on on the playground. And this I kid, bet one dollar James Longo. Can, okay, keep going down. No. <laughs> this, this kid this kid runs around. He's like I'm crazy kid. And he goes and he drinks my milk. That is the biggest asshole in history. <laughs> Okay, hold on. No, we're, we're getting okay. One dollar. James Longo can't chug a beer faster than Max. If whoever that is DMs Dan, who is the official bet master, then I will accept that bet. Russian squeeze bag. Okay. If Justin's and Dan doesn't have to show me, but if you DM Dan Decker right now okay. about the bet. Russian squeeze bag. Can I, can I, is it? That was it. Oh wait, did he leave? Oh, oh shit. Okay. Wait, is he viewing? Okay. Uh, we won't say anything, but something oh, awesome. this, pod- <laughs> this podcast is going well. Let's go. Talk. Hey Nick, how you doing? Uh- <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyway. Um. <laughs> Okay, so if you DM Dan, I will I will accept that one dollar bet, and I will chug against Max. Super strong macho women or super frail skinny lady? Super strong macho woman. Yeah, skinny girls hurt. Skinny girls hurt. And in skinny people, like you ever like get punched by a skinny person, it's hard. Or like, if you ever try to punch them, like they're hard. <laughs> they're breaking. An international group of geneticists studying Y chromosome data have found that nearly 8% of the men living in the region of the former Mongol Empire carry Y chromosomes that are nearly identical. That translates to 0.5% of the male population in the world, or roughly 16 million descendants living today. So pretty much 15%. Thanks. Okay, so I was um, right. Do you have to chug beers now? Point zero. If Dan gets a, d- if Dan gets a yeah. DM. Did Dan get a DM? Uh, Dan Decker. What is something you're extremely proud of doing, but too embarrassed to talk about? Nothing. Like, why do well, you embarrass? Uh, well, it has to be too embarrassed to talk about previously to this, because I can't say out loud something that I'm too... I inherently can't say something that I'm too embarrassed to talk about. So, um... I don't think we're making 20... Okay, whatever. Um... What is something... Okay, so what is... what is? Let me rephrase that. What is something you're extremely proud of doing, but <laughs> generally, imp- like, embarrassed? Like, you wouldn't mention to... You wouldn't be too quick to mention. I am... Embarrassed that I'm proud of it. Like, if I'm proud of it, I'm probably not embarrassed of it. Like, I don't... Well, no, but, like, emb- I guess, like, something you're proud of, but not something that you boast. Yeah. How about that? We'll rephrase it to that. Um, anything. I'm not like I don't really boast anything. I've I've kissed <laughs> easily over thirty men. Easily yeah, over thirty definitely. men. I'm not gonna boast that because I don't feel the need to, but it's a fact that I'm well over thirty. I have a hinge Damn. in my penis. I'm kind of um, <laughs> I kind of hurt. <laughs> Are you? A little bit. I've kissed you the most though. There's no doubt that that's true. Hell yeah, fucking right. I've <laughs> I've kissed you more than some of the females that I've kissed. Yo, I've kissed you more than most Yo. of the females that I've kissed. Actually, that's that's a fact. That's Yo, a statistical is fact. Is this young love or is this hung love? I'm all I'm saying. <laughs> that's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm saying. Um, well, we don't need Russian squeeze. Bet's bag. place. We did. Did we get a? Did we get a DM? No, I got no DM. Okay. Uh, here, here's another <laughs> thing that I. Uh, for example, you can be proud you asked somebody out or can jog a mile. I am very proud that I can jog a mile, and I'm far too embarrassed to admit that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, like, I wouldn't be, like, embarrassed about, like, I wouldn't be proud of those things unless I was, like, better than, like, a general amount of people. In the- oh, because people can generally do these things. I'm proud. Like, I feel like there's, like. I feel like you're proud of that you're. What's a- okay, so that's a good, that's a good take on it. What's something that you're proud of? But, like, most people can do anyway. Can do? Yeah. I don't know. <coughs> or most people... I can eat a whole box of mac and cheese. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm not proud of that. I'm just saying I, I just do it. Like, I, just I just do, do it. it. I'm kind of sad when I do it, actually. <laughs> actually, actually, that's the opposite. <laughs> um, Something that I'm proud of, but no. most no, people can do. Um... 
See, because because I, I was gonna throw in the like, I I've had a, <laughs> that that I've had a threesome before, but like, the the stars need to align for that to happen. I feel. That's just something to be straight up proud of. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I don't really like boast about. That, Actually, though. okay, I have to pee again. I want you to tell the threesome story. All right. From yeah, story, time. story time with Dan. All right, here we go. Uh, it's it's mostly I feel I feel like mostly people in this room are watching, but uh, all right. So th- this is this is my senior year of high school. You know, Massive. I was I was I was da- I, I dated this girl for a little while, and uh, her leaving for college. She was a year older than me. And then we ended up breaking up because, like, I don't know, I was it. I, I I didn't know how to like deal with a distance relationship, but now she 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 came back every so often to, like visit, and uh, I don't know. We were hanging out, you know. We were still we 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 were still pretty intimate. And it was it, it was nice, you know. <laughs> it was it was solid. Something but then was, something was solid. But but then 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 we go uh, we we go and one one of our friends who goes to college in our hometown. Had a show that day, like you know, she she does theater, and we go there. She, she's also another one of my ex girlfriends. So so we hang out for a while, and like we go see her show. And it was it was really good. It was like a, like a, like like Shakespearean like language, but not but not Shakespeare, and more more set in modern day. But anyway, af- after that, you know, we we go to Denny's because what what else are you gonna do? It's like it's midnight. We've got nothing to do. And we sit there for a while, and you know we, we have a good time, uh, and I go up to 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 pay for the bill because I'm a gentleman. I'm loaded. I'm a senior in high school, hanging out with my two ex girlfriends who who are currently in college. And then I, I guess I guess during that time, they decided that uh, they both wanted to have sex with me. So uh, they knew before then. We 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 were walking out to the car, and you know we were we were like sitting in the back of my uh, my ex girlfriend's. Well, I was sitting in the back of my ex girlfriend's truck, and they were like, "Dan, we're gonna we're gonna have a threesome." And I was like, "Yeah, okay, whatever." <laughs> like you know, I'm trying to play it cool because uh, but the the most recent girlfriend had a uh, had a uh, fooled me with that. Before you know, <laughs> the um, story afterwards. What? <laughs> that, it, it, no, it's it's. She was just like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna have a threesome, and then it was a. Uh, it, it it just sort of happened, but um, well, it, it sort of, the, the jokes just sort of happened, but but we go and um. Yeah, so I, we, they they keep persisting. It's like this is gonna happen. I'm like, oh shit, so you know, uh, uh you know, you know when you get like you you start shaking, you start getting in the mood, you get you get the horny shakes. Um, I don't know if that's happened. Actually, no. I know for a fact that that has happened to, to one person who is WiggyCat314. Oh! In, uh, calling him out specifically in the in the chat. Bold move. But no, but that's no. you just get a little nervous and it's like... You, you get shaken and it's like... I don't know. Now, how does that affect your erection? Um, I mean, I was 18, so it was still like... So nothing. Nothing's <laughs> affecting that erection. Er, early onset erectile dysfunction doesn't come around until you're like 19 or 20, you know? I was, I was still good. Um, I, I had had sex like two or three times before that day, though. Nice. Um, so it, it, was, it wasn't... <laughs> we get through and for Wait, what did you say? I missed it. Uh, talking about the horny shakes and how you have gotten them. I think you can, I think you can also rewind the... You can... Okay. Um, so he can just go back. But no, so I was like, I don't know, we, we were just like driving around in my uh, ex-girlfriend's car because like we couldn't really like go back to a house. Like I can't, I don't know, at that point it's like, he got yep. But it's, <laughs> it's like, you know, it's pretty late at night. I can't just like bring two girls up into my room and then try and have sex with them. Well, okay, counter to that, I don't think your parents would be like, oh man, there's two girls. I, they'd be like, I don't think he's having sex, because there's, cause there's two of them. Yeah. Uh, so kind of a safe bet, really. Yeah, but we we ended up driving up to like to like one of the uh, the the uh, the the odd streets out in the boonies in my town, and we just pull over the side of the road, and then I don't know, we did, they just it, it was in the back of like like a big truck, so it was like, like it was. Cab. Yeah, yeah, there was. Yeah, yeah, it was still like it, it was it was like a. It was like a truck that that was meant to do work, 
but it had like it still had like some some seats in the back. You were meant to do work. But they uh, it wasn't like enough room for it to be like as good as like normal sex. But like they they took turns hopping on the D for a while, and then uh. Can we get um, more graphic than that actually? Yeah, I want to know the sound. What was the soundscape like? I was gonna go. Yeah, specific positions, uh, <laughs> duration, uh, logic behind it all, yeah. sounds. One. Did they make out? Uh, they, they talked about it. You know, you know, it, it's 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 the stars align, and the guy is always just in for the ride. You know, you cannot force anything about that. So they 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 were like like I think one of them was like probably by curious and the other one was not, um. So they didn't do anything, but like they were both just like naked. Actually, the coolest thing, when you're making out with a girl, and then like a girl sucking your dick, it's just sort of like a, it's just sort of like three hands on your back, like oh I don't expect that, you know. Um, <laughs> I, I don't I don't know how else to describe it. Like, <laughs> it has, it has to happen to you. I don't know. Uh, two 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 people kissing your neck's pretty cool. Um. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what one of them. One of them sort of just came super quick a lot, and that was that was that was cool. Did it make you feel like a man, Dan? Yeah. A Dan man. Yeah. Um, the other one, the other one was a little bit, a little bit tougher. So I had to really just. Uh, we we drove back. But into, you had help, so. <laughs> we drove back into Pound Town for that. You know? <laughs> didn't, didn't a cop knock on the window? Yeah, well, yeah, I was getting to that. So anyway, what ended up happening? I guess, I guess somebody passed by while while the dirty deed was being done, and they were like, "Hey, someone's pulled over on the side of the road out in like the middle of nowhere. They probably need help." So what ends up happening? Like a cop shows up. And this leads into Dan's first four way. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, so like I was like I was I was sort of like 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 free freaking out because like ah oh, shit the fucking cops here. Coming to ruin all the oh, fun, no. dude. We're oh, losing no. viewers on this story. Yeah, what yeah. the fuck? We you lost three viewers during this story. Um, the fuck do you guys want from us? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But uh, I don't know. Anyway, that that was pretty much the end. Uh, one, one girl like, one girl threw her clothes on, and she talked to the cop. He was like, "Oh no, I just I was just making a phone call." I think we make up. And then uh, I don't know. I I that was that. Does, Does sending, sending thoughts, thoughts and prayers, prayers to victims, victims of tragedies help in any way, or are those who say things. drawing attention to themselves and just trying to appear as a good person in social media? My questions were keeping it real, whereas this story blows. What, wow. What, what, what do you want? <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. You can't let. You can't let. The, right. Okay, you can't. You can't. <laughs> um, no, I think I think sending your thoughts and prayers definitely directs attention to yourself instead of doing anything. I mean, not there might be too much to do except maybe donate to families and need but i think it definitely just like it's more of having the optics of being a quote-unquote good person versus actually doing anything and thoughts and prayers are pretty much useless in almost every another scenario. another good way to put that same answer is to just try and say that the other side is right and sound how stupid it is yes sound sending thoughts and prayers helps <laughs> right like it's can you say that sending thoughts and prayers it's saying you're doing it okay social can, media, saying so saying that, that you're it. sending thoughts and prayers helps because if you yeah, heard yeah. somebody say that the ban umbra if you're actually thinking no. about it you do something about it <laughs> um so we're gonna turn this next question over to the viewers what yeah, is, and they're fucking stupid and they should probably die so like what is one way that this stream could be better and what is one way that it could be worse what is one way this stream could be better, and what's two ways that it could be worse, actually? One way it could be better, y'all need to get more woke. I'm pretty woke. You can be more woke. I'm pretty woke. You, gotta, you can get you more woke. We're not trying to be woke. You gotta wake up your fourth eye. We're not trying to be woke. That's not the I scope. Like should... oh, but that's not the scope of this. <laughs> you're, you're, you're missing Yeah, the entertainment, scope. I don't know. What's the scope? What's the scope? Just having fun. Just having fun. Just having fun. You asked us for our opinions. I think that there yes, people in the chat you. who are actually confused. Okay, now give me two ways that it could be worse. Two ways it could be worse. You could be less woke. Post a link in our bios so people don't have to type it out like I did. Wait, said you typed it out. You didn't have. You didn't like click on the link. I guess you're not you on your phone or anything. Well, we could stream it naked. That is that. Wait, wait. 
Oh. oh. Well, we'll, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to drag this Even out too much longer. Dies. I don't want to drag this out too much longer. Okay. Um, be nice to Dan. We are being nice to Dan. Yeah, be nice to Dan. That emoji sucks. Um, What's not woke? Yo, I'm... Yo, what Umber, come through. Yeah. Hashtag protect Dan. <laughs> oh, also... As something that'll make that uh, threesome cooler is, like, the whole thing was raw dog. <laughs> okay. What are we at right now? Back up to 10. Alright. Thoughts and prayers for Dan. Um, <laughs> if you pray for Dan, God is not listening. Switch from beer to shots. Ooh, is that a good or for, bad thing? For Dan or for the co-hosts? I mean, if if you want, like, if you want to get five more viewers, I'll take a shot. But, can we get? Uh, okay, we're at ten right now. If we can get back up to fifteen, Dan will take a shot. Yeah, give us another question. Mate, mate, um, mate. So Max, what's one way that we can improve this chat? What's two ways that could have been worse? I think one way we could have improved this chat was have coming in with a clear theme of, you know, planned a little bit instead of kind of going in kind of buck wild, just kind mm -hmm. of leaving it up to the viewers. I think would have helped is having kind of a theme that we're kind of go off of. Mm -hmm. And two ways it could have been worse is complete one would be completely ignoring the chat. Yeah. yeah. And two would have been... Um, I think actually maybe not having people around. I mean, but I also think that would have helped by not having people around. I think there's a, a good balance between the amount of people that are live viewing versus internet, internet viewing. Yeah, there's about there's about twice as many people live viewing as there are. The Q and A panel is OP, and like as in like overpowered or like so original post. <laughs> So people, yeah, 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 so it. people don't yeah, find yeah. it socially acceptable to tell people they're too large or they need to eat less. But no one has ever battled, batted an eye saying someone is too skinny or needs to eat more. I don't know if that's true. Thoughts can provide <laughs> examples. Um, I think a lot of the times people are like, "Wow, look, there's no skin on your bones. You need to eat more." People are like, "I don't need to eat more," but I think they say that because they already have like a body, um, like perception issue. They have like they have body dysmorphia already um suggestion include tegan tegan is being included she's actually talking to us from the couch uh snazzy oh, blue i think they might like be in frank that'd be great um they like her better than look i mean like so start your own fucking twitch <laughs> like, hey. like hey hey stop hey. yeah max stop interfering <laughs> with her over on the couch dude she's doing something Yo, <laughs> tuesdays are for the boys <laughs> Uh, can I grab some pretzels under the mic, though? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, uh... Okay, yeah, yeah okay, I think, okay, yeah, yeah. Right. People don't bat an eye, people say, oh, you need to eat more. Like, no one cares, because... Um, but it, and skinny I people think... aren't as discriminated against, so yeah. it's not sure. like... Because it's more, like, socially acceptable to be skinny than it is to be large. Yeah. Because people, people see that as, like, a valuable trait. Whether it is or isn't, Wait, people uh, it's how it's perceived. Yo, man, just love yourself. But that is also to say that, like, you know, Tuesdays for tequila, much, very good. Very good. As much as positive body positivity is important, I think it's still also equally important to realize that while you can be positive about your body, it's also important to recognize that in either extreme you might be unhealthy. I agree that that logic is wrong. I believe that this. I mean, just any, like, as long as you're, yeah, no, of course, I, I, I think it's, oh. honestly, as long as you're happy, you're okay, I don't even care if you're healthy, but, but, but it's kind of like, if you think about it in, like, terms of, like, mental health, that's what I'm saying, happy as or, in mental health, or even just other, any, other, any kind of health, by realizing even, like, it's, it's okay to be, like, unhealthy, but that just because you're like okay with your unhealthiness doesn't mean like it's not unhealthy. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'm not. No, but it's, it's both sides of the spectrum. It's skinny and large. 
healthy at yeah, almost any You can any be size. larger and be healthy, yeah, but yeah. there's also like a threshold yeah. where it's like not healthy. Yeah, I, I yeah. Feel like right. And just like the way that you might cope with mental yeah. issues yeah. is unhealthy. And but by saying, oh, but I have mental issues is just putting on an excuse that you're not coping with an unhealthy part of your life. Um, it, it doesn't mean that like you're a bad person, but it's still, but still recognizing that things can be unhealthy is like important, even if like we're trying to be like aware of their. I would talk to the mic and not the. Aware of themselves, but Mike can hear me. Just not as well. It just sounds, Mike can it hear just sounds worse when you're talking away from it. Um, what are we at for viewers? We're gonna have to cut this soon, guys. We're gonna have to cut this soon. Um, if we have any last minute questions, any last minute recommendations. From the viewers online. What do you want to see next week? What, what do you, you want to see, see next, next week? week? Please give us some um some themes. If you give us an overall theme, we'll come up with a show on it. Thirty viewers, Max eats my ass. <laughs> also, thirty viewers. I'm not gonna eat Dan's ass. How many viewers? Actually, no, Max. Answer how many? Mine. How Answer how mine. What is one word in your vocab that you use excessively? Really? Um, dope. I say things are dope far too often. <laughs> Lit. Lit. I mean, I think with whatever is like quote unquote in is what I use excessively. But also, what I was like, haha, I'm going to use this ironically. And then it becomes a part of my actual vocab. Because then I start using it way too often. Um, yes, Marley. Um, yes, Marley. Second dimension creatures cannot imagine a third dimension. Blah, 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 blah. What are your thoughts on the fourth dimension exhibits? It would be you could see all periods of time equally as if you were looking at a flat landscape. And so all times, all, all periods of time would exist equally, which is logically just how life is. We are experiencing one moment of time and we see it as a progression in one way. But like all periods of time exist equally and there's really no reason that it should be any other way. And that's just how it is. There's no so what what makes this moment any more real than the moment that existed before this or the moment that will exist after this? Especially where time is relative to the speed that you're moving. So somebody could be existing in the moment before you because of how they're perceiving time. So if those two moments are true at the same time, why isn't every other moment true at the same time? An infinite value of moments in between that? I think I say yes too much. I think I try and please people too much. <laughs> Um, <laughs> movie reviews. Another question is, going off of all times existing at the same Isn't time. Isn't time a social construct? No, no, time is not a social construct. What time is, is a social so construct? What in is a sense social that construct? Everything's like a social construct. Time is a social construct in the fact that we have a measurement for time, which is socially constructed. But the fact that time passes isn't socially constructed. Like that is an actual thing. Time passes. There, there are different. There are different x values, if you'll say, which time is an x value, that give different y values, which is what we're experiencing. But how we measure that, seconds, minutes, hours, is socially constructed because those can be changed to our will. We can we can bend those to our will whenever we want. Going off of um, the perception. Okay. Anyway, going off of will. If all times exist at the same time, and you're made up of atoms, and this is all Newtonian and even um, quantum physics, and there's only one way that anything can react, you know, there's no like, this chemical doesn't randomly turn into this other chemical. How can you reason that we have free will? I don't know, I guess you don't. Damn. Do you have any input? Sorry? Do you have any input on free will? that like quantum states are like... Um, there's variation in quantum states, even at the same y value. Finale and they're not question. necessarily functions, but they are. Okay, hold on. This is our finale question. We're going to answer this question, and we're going to cut the stream, because this is devolving. All right. We're getting a lot of background noise. We're getting uh, a lot of... Uh, here's, here's a movie review right now for you. Atlantis, uh, the, the Disney movie. <laughs> Dope as shit. Um, that's that. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Okay, we have one finale question from Umbra Angel. Is... If your ass had its own personality, what sort of person would it be? It would be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> um, highly fluctuating personality. You know, sometimes my shits are solid. Sometimes my shits are, like, very 
uh, soft serve like, and I think that that would um, it would uh, reflect the personality of my asshole being a dynamic character. It's not just static, but you know sometimes it's like you know on point. Other times it's very messy, um, and I think that's kind of reflective of who I am as a person as well. So pretty similar to myself maybe. I feel like my ass is pretty tight. Like definitely one of the more um, tight asses. Five percent muscular parts of my body. So, I think, and if we can make this, and this is a good finale question, I'm going to tell you why it's a good finale question, because it comes from a circle. I think if my ass were to become its own personality and its own person, it would be a Chad. Mm. It would be a Chad. Mm. Okay? I've, I've got a good closing statement, though. <laughs> okay, Dan, give it to me. A good, a good answer to this. If, I, <laughs> if my ass had its own personality, what sort of person it would be? My ass would be the kind of person... Who Max would eat at 30 viewers next week. <laughs> next week. We're going to tweet this out next week. We're going to... Um, I don't know. What else are we going to do with I don't, I don't think I'm going to eat Dan's ass. Are we going to Are we gonna make a, uh, an Instagram post on Max's Instagram? I'm going to make another Instagram viewers. post. You know, uh, James and Dan are going to make some Instagram posts, Twitter, Twitter posts. We're going to have... Um, you know, some good audience I'm afraid to Facebook post it because my mom might watch this. <laughs> Oh, Although she she probably be done, she probably be done. If I face, actually we might face. Why not Facebook post it? Yeah. What's the worst that happens? Uh, yeah. no, I, I we can always, always make it private. Post. We can make we can exclude people from seeing the post. Yeah. Nah. What? We can exclude people from seeing the posts. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Nah, if, if someone finds it organically, yeah, but uh, I don't want. No, I don't want. If you enjoy it, you know, have your well, friends. You don't have to be on it, but I'll be on it. I don't. I actually don't think I care about who sees this. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm me, and I'll be me forever. If, if, if we're going to talk about more about my sexual escapades, I'd probably... Uh, I mean, we already covered the most exciting one, so... <laughs> we don't know that. There might be some secrets Dan's withholding. Uh, stay tuned. Yeah. Um, so thank you all for joining us. Please, thank you. Please let us know in the DMs what you thought. Please let us know... Um, you know, which which one you'd rather have sex with. Me or James? Fuck Mary Kill, me, Dan Max. Mm. Uh, that chug of beer for every uh, pair of legal boobs sent to our email address. Please verify your age. Le- legal. Oh, How much yeah. do you chug for illegal boobs sent to the. None. None. We send them to the authorities. I'm, I'm, I'm we the send police. them to the authorities. We send straight to the authorities. Yeah, yeah, yeah the forwarding that email to FBI <laughs> at yahoo.com. <laughs> should, should we, like, kiss? <laughs> okay, at the end of every stream, we, yeah, that's good because people don't usually stay to the end of streams. Yeah. So, um, if somebody's if somebody's on the stream right now and you know somebody who left the stream early, just tell them about this, okay? <laughs> steps in front of. Steps, steps in front of. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. Join us next week. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that was fucking that was, that was pretty good. So we learned a lot. That was pretty good. We learned a lot about what we need to do. <laughs> that was pretty fun. I had fun. <laughs> we had 17 at one point. That's let pretty good. Yeah, literally two of them were me. <laughs> <laughs> two of them? Who was but the second still, one? But still. No, like I had it, I have it on my laptop. Are you right Umbra Angel? No. Why? Yo, who the fuck is Umbra, Umbra Angel? Angel? Was Wait, no. Fan. First of all, who is the person spamming in the chat who we had to, we had to block someone? Yeah, that was not cool. This man just kept spamming the N-word. It was, like, really on... It wasn't that creative. Like, I was... Wait, hop- was that the R-Shark guy? Or no. no. It was Shunty Q. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's Wait, the, so what happened is that I sent it to my old roommate, and you, we were all uh, friends with those two, and those two don't like me. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think I have a picture of a... No, no, uh, from the, like, freshman year of college after a... Podcast out. Oh.